we greet you, Europe, in the loving uh, mercies of our Lord Jesus. How are you doing? We are well. We thank God for keeping us this far. We didn't uh, uh, think at any time that we were going to be here with this strength and with this abundant grace to share with you the um, kindness of our Lord manifesting in the eternal word. So we are happy to join you. I am with Pastor Irengu with me today. Thank you, Amai Magadi Amadang, the same Europe region. Tinotenda Mariva at Pajemka now, Kutichi Sangani, Tichi Ziza, we Tichi Wazana Pamichete, Tinotenda Ishe, Ashita. Tinotenda Mari, uh, we are so happy also when we hear your testimonies and, and do not stop, Pastor, my testimonies are not in Titras my testimonies are not up on Guagacuana. They are a ministry on, on, on their own. Oh, yes. Because yes. when you listen to testimonies, mm -hmm. you listen to accounts of mm -hmm. what God has done, yes. what the Lord is doing. Mm -hmm. You see, to fulfill yes. what was written in, in Mark chapter 16, verse 19, mm -hmm. when we teach you. We are telling you what the Lord is saying. Yes. But when you share with us testimonies, mm -hmm. you are now telling us yes. what the Lord has done, mm -hmm. following up on the, on the word. Yes. Verse 19 and 20. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, yes. he was received up into heaven. Yes, Pastor. Yes. Our Lord was received into heaven, yes. Yes. And sat on the right hand of God. He sat on the right hand of God. Yes. Yes. And they went forth. They went forth. And preached everywhere. Where was the Lord? The Lord working with them. What was he doing? And confirming the word with signs following. Amen. You see, Pastor. <laughs> yes, am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Paka Vujika, the name is Teji. It's Vujika, the name <laughs> the Lord was working with, with them. them yes. What was he doing? Confirming the word with the signs. The Lord was confirming yes. the word yes. with the signs following. following yes. So the testimonies, mm -hmm. they give us evidence yes. of what the Lord is doing, doing. to yes. confirm the word. Mm -hmm. So after teaching the word, yes. the Lord must follow, yeah. oh, follow yes. up on the word yes. to confirm the word mm. in your personal lives. Oh yes. So each time you come to listen to the word, mm -hmm. you are actually coming into a situation where you are given access to the Lord. Oh yes. The same ones give you access <laughs> to the Lord. <laughs> It's a point of contact. Oh, yes. The Lord will meet you mm -hmm. on the point of the word. Right. So he says, I am here mm -hmm. to confirm. Yes. To confirm the word. the word. You see, I this is why it's see. difficult now for <laughs> one to go to prayer. Yes. To ask the Lord to meet with him. <laughs> Sangana Inesu. <laughs> Patino <laughs> Jenge Tera. <laughs> we used to sing that song, Pastor. It's true. Patino Jenge Tera. Mama, what's that called? Jema. Saturday. Saturday, I'm not going to go. Ane, di chana to zoe bata na wio yo. Pane kame ka 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 switch ka ano kurumiza kubata so. Satan, I don't know if you switch up my emotions. Yes, it's yes, very it's easy very to become emotional mm -hmm. because of the influence <laughs> of the kingdom of darkness. And when you remember some of your cries, Pastor, yes. what exactly was I crying for? for? You feel pity for yourself. It's very true, <laughs> you feel like you will make another confession. <laughs> Say, Lord, Lord Jesus, <laughs> discard all those nonsensical prayers. <laughs> How could I say such prayers? And where 
Where was I getting those emotions from? Mm. Where was I mm. emotional about nonsense? You do yes. things, Pastor. You yes. make mistakes. Yes. And when you make mistakes, mm -hmm. you are not willing to face your mistakes mm -hmm. and admit that you were responsible mm -hmm. for your turmoil. Mm -hmm. But you are willing to face yes. Jesus and ask him to correct those mistakes mm -hmm. on your behalf. Mm -hmm. And since some of those mistakes, Pastor, mm -hmm. they simply needed reconciliation oh, yes. with some people. Yes. Yes, yes, you were not willing to say sorry to some people, mm. but you were willing to cry to Jesus. <laughs> Fix all my problems. Yes. And Jesus would be saying, but these problems, yes. they are your own creation. Mm. And the people involved in this problem mm. are there in your location. <laughs> you could still knock at their doors yes. and humble yourself. Mm. You see, so... <laughs> But, but we, we come back to this scripture. It's important, Europe, yes. because when we listen to your testimonies, yes. they give me confidence mm -hmm. that the Lord is still faithful as he was millennia ago. Oh, yes. Yes, he know. was faithful to follow up on the word. Mm -hmm. Each time the word was declared, our Lord followed up to confirm the word with the signs. Oh, yeah. And the word the signs is in plural mm -hmm. because it's not just one singular a focal area mm -hmm. where one could say maybe prophecy is a sign. Yes, prophecy is a sign. Mm -hmm. But there are signs. Mm -hmm. To one, the Lord may confirm the word with the healing as a sign. Mm -hmm. To another, you may be given access to a certain aspect of life mm -hmm. that the devil was barring you from. It can be marriage. Mm -hmm. It can be professional uh, uh, involvement. Mm -hmm. It may be career. Yes. It may be business uh, oriented. Mm -hmm. But you can look at yourself and see this is the hand of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is a physical matter. Mm -hmm. But I can sense that there was a supernatural force yes. that was disturbing natural things from going the way they should. But the Lord came with a mighty hand and he confirmed the word by giving me relief in this area. Oh, yes. So what you have is a confirmation mm -hmm. of the word. It's amazing, am I? It's amazing. It is. And uh, we see through the testimonies that we get every day. Yeah, yesterday I got a, a, a wonderful testimony from my brethren who lives alone in Odzi and is saying there is no one to fellowship with. Okay. But the word is confirming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's following. It's following uh, up uh, on each and every one. On each and every one. Who is written in the book of life. Oh, yes. If you are in a cave, the word will the, find it you. It will follow you. If you are in the aircraft, <laughs> the word will find you. This is why I loved it. When you it's, said it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. The word yes. will be confirmed. Yes. If it is the true word, mm -hmm. the Lord will confirm the word oh, yes. with the signs following. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a important. Um, I don't know, uh, Deacon. Do we have an outstanding message or do we have a hot question that we can't go without answering tonight? Uh, no, we don't have any outstanding message, am I? You last, you last uh, taught us on apologetics and sound booking three and answered some questions. I don't know whether you'd want to open the floor. No, 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 no. We, we answered questions last time. Mm -hmm. Let's go into yes. the message. Yes. Probably next time we'll get questions that may be arising from um, the message I might share with you tonight. But I would like to say something that the Lord continues to emphasize um, in my spirit for the past few weeks. I'm sure I will continue to speak about it each and every time we meet with every region and even on our secular meetings as the whole church. The Lord is, um, I was discussing with the pastor a few minutes ago that the messages we taught on Ziklag Sound Advice 12 followed up with um, the diary 
mm-hmm. which was a men's meeting and the ladies' meeting. Mm-hmm. The Lord had started talking to me about these things as early as uh, 20, 2018. Mm-hmm. But I caught the message vivid mm-hmm. in 2019. And I did discuss it with a few people mm-hmm. that were close to me. And I said to them, there, there's something that I, I can't understand and I can't place it. Mm-hmm. The Lord continues to say, the church hasn't really manifested. They are restructuring adjustments mm-hmm. that are required. Mm-hmm. And then the Lord is told about our the nature of our marriages. Yes. In the issue of virginity, mm-hmm. with so great emphasis, mm-hmm. but the message didn't come in one uh, one encounter. It came in phases. Mm-hmm. So I didn't do, I didn't know what to say, and I didn't understand what the Lord was talking about. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with our marriages? What is wrong? Mm-hmm. Until the, the the John series, I can tell you, with authority, that the John series. The moment we started it, that's when the Lord brought out the whole picture. And then I I figured out that when he said, let us now go on into perfection, Perfection. this is what he wanted us to deal with as well. Mm -hmm. So let us never spend even a month without visiting one of those messages. Yes. If you are a lady, mm-hmm. continue to visit the lady yes. teachings. Mm-hmm. If you are a gentleman, you should listen to one of the messages, either mm-hmm. the direct messages or the ladies' teachings. Mm-hmm. Continue to listen to them. Mm-hmm. I want to tell you that we moved a mountain oh, in yes. the spiritual realm yes. Yes. with these teachings. We moved a mountain. Mm-hmm. We moved a mountain that was heavily uh, uh, suffocating our spiritual growth the whole world over. The devil was counting on this mountain Mm. that we are going to remain a a, a, a garrulous religious people who are talkative about God. Mm -hmm. But when you look at how we live, Mm -hmm. we live extreme debauched life. Mm. So the Lord wants us to learn and learn and learn until we understand Mm -hmm. that the the, the, the teachings, they opened a new new avenue, a new realm, a new dimension Mm -hmm. of spirituality. Mm -hmm. It's a make or break dimension that the Lord took us into. Those who are going to embrace those teachings, they are going to become a totally different kind of believers. Mm -hmm. And those who are going to fail to adjust, Mm -hmm. they are going to fall very soon from from, from this year up to the end of 2024. Mm -hmm. You are going to see. (laughs) There are people that you are going to see to to, to just wonder where they went. Uh, Very, very vocal people, very, very prominent among us because of this (laughs) message they are going to fall away because it's it's like a deep tank. Mm -hmm. You have got so much ticks on your body. Mm -hmm. The concentration of the chemicals that are put into the deep tank Mm -hmm. to to disinfect Mm -hmm. the the kettle, Mm -hmm. it it has to deal with the the species, the variety, and the resistance of the ticks and lice Mm -hmm. that are in that area. And the agricultural extension officers know how to do that, mm-hmm. to calculate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not <laughs> yes. It's a new dimension. Yes. I can assure you, if there was an area that the devil was confident no one will go to heaven. Mm-hmm. It's how we live our lives yes. as far as our marriages and our interpersonal relationships are concerned mm-hmm. regarding uh, affections and love and intimacy. Marriages in particular, mm-hmm. that was a very, very uh, unattended area. 
Go mm-hmm. to any Christian church today. Mm-hmm. You won't find them emphasizing purity oh, yes. the yes. way we are doing yes. here. Yes. I can assure you. Mm-hmm. I can assure you. Yeah. The depth of those teachings, mm-hmm. 20 years from now, mm-hmm. people are going to be looking for me. Where yes. is this preacher yes. Yes. who declared righteousness mm-hmm. unambiguously mm-hmm. and so robustly like this? Yeah. As clear as it is in the scriptures. Where is this preacher? Let us never forget these teachings. You may be struggling to adjust. Mm-hmm. Don't resist the teaching. Mm-hmm. Kneel down and pray. Oh, yes. Lord, I have learned what you want. Mm-hmm. I'm too weak to make the adjustments. Mm-hmm. Strengthen me. Mm-hmm. Help me. Amen. It's not a sin yes. to tell the Lord that I am expected to do this adjustment. Mm-hmm. But my emotions are getting hold of me. Mm-hmm. I can't let go of my sinful way. Mm-hmm. The adjustments I'm required to do are too big for me. Oh, yes. I was used to sweeping my debt under the, the carpet, carpet and pretending everything is all right. Mm-hmm. But now I know what the Lord requires. Mm-hmm. I am willing to make the adjustments. I'm too weak to yes. make them. Yes. Or maybe you can say, I don't know how to do it. Mm. Maybe you are afraid of hating people that love you. Mm. But you know, the Lord wants you to do what is right before him. You cannot put people ahead of God. You cannot put even your heart ahead of God. No, you can't depend on your heart, remember. Mm. One of the most corruptible things that we have on this earth is our heart. Mm -hmm. You can't trust your heart. You can't trust your heart. Ask Jeremiah, mm. he will tell you 17, 9, and 10. Mm-hmm. You can ask him, he will tell you the heart is very deceitful yes. above all things. Yes. You can't say, I'm in love, therefore I can use my love mm-hmm. to, to disobey God. I can use my heart on the basis of what I feel, mm-hmm. I will disobey God. That would be a terrible mistake. Read Jeremiah 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. Oh, <laughs> let's see a feather. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? So there are people who will be saying, I'm yeah. in love. <laughs> How can I be told that I can't marry yeah. a, a, a used woman when I'm a boy? Mm-hmm. My heart loves this woman. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are trusting mm. A very deceitful component yes. of your of your existence, mm. of your humanity. Mm. The moment you include your heart, mm. <laughs> it's corruption. Mm. It's corruption. And the, the scriptures are too many. The, this scripture is corroborated as well with um with Genesis chapter six, of course. Mm-hmm. Verse number five and six. Yes. Yes. And God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth. Great wickedness. Yes. Yes. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Evil once a day. Continually. Evil once a week. Continually. Evil twice a month. Continually. Evil (laughs) once since I was born. Continually. The imagination Mm. of the thoughts Thoughts of of our heart. Is evil. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so you can't use your heart as an excuse oh, yes. to disobey God. Mm. You may be hating today, but don't trust your heart. <laughs> Very soon you'll forget. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ask men, they will tell you. Mm. There was a time when you would ask a girl out and she would say, leave me alone. And you would feel like your, your, your world has come to an end. I was <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm After one week, I didn't come on. 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 After two weeks, I go to Kangaroo. I will jump. No Kangaroo. No, so some kind of move. 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 Move.
<laughs> there was a movie passed. Uh, yeah. I don't know who acted that movie. Yeah. They 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 started a shop which was called Husband Shop. All right. So a woman would come and 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 they would write mm. what kind of a man do you love? Mm-hmm. And so a man would come and mm. she, she would say, I love a man who is like this and that and mm. that. Mm. And the man would come out. Mm-hmm. And on the on the way out with mm. that man, yes. the woman would meet another man yes. more handsome than this one. <laughs> and the woman would come back to the shop. Yes, exactly. I saw a man when I was getting out. <laughs> Are there still many others like him? <laughs> <Am I? laughs> it was a movie. Yes. <laughs> so don't trust your heart. I can assure you, it will be a very big mistake. Yes, yes. Trust God. Do not lean in the thoughts of your mind. Mm. Trust in the Lord, and He will make sure He will guarantee you happiness that you will not regret about. Mm. Trust in the Lord. Mm-hmm. These teachings, they are going to make you very spiritual. Mm. These teachings are about purity. Mm. You will become truly spiritual. Oh, yes. And, and those who are going to obey these teachings, they are going to start to experience spiritual experiences mm. they never thought they could experience mm. without prayer, without anything, oh, yes. because you have purified yourself. You have purified yourself. All right. I came here with a desire to share with you a message that I shared with others in a Bible study. Um, I don't know, Pastor, if you still remember. Were you there? I don't think you were there. <laughs> we, we, I don't know if I shared with you mm-hmm. from the book of Samuel. Mm-hmm. I think I was there. I can't remember. Exactly. You were not there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So let us get help from the Europe region. Those who want to read the scriptures for us, mm-hmm. please read for me First Samuel, chapter number three, verse number one, up to verse number ten. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to title this message this way. Uh, Learning to access the spiritual. Learning how to access Mm -hmm. or to gain access into the spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm using the word spiritual rather than the spiritual realm Mm -hmm. because I don't want us to focus on the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. I want to focus on the whole entity, the kingdom life, which was designed to be spiritual, Mm -hmm. as we shall learn very soon. So let us hear the reading of scripture. 1 Samuel 3, 1 to 10. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision, uh-huh. and it came to pass. Ah, uh-huh. ah, uh-huh. wait. Pastor Tom, but I'm going to zoro deka. Do you want to move? 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 Do you as, as, as the family grows, yes. children are born and children come into the kitchen mm-hmm. to join the mother. Oh, yes. So this time around, my wife is going to go to the house. She 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 is going to go to the house. Yes. So the beginning of this. Uh, Debeko, as I could call it, it's 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 a crisis mm-hmm. because when you hear the, the the scripture saying, the word of the Lord was precious mm-hmm. in those days, there was no open vision. Mm-hmm. If you look at the phrase that is beyond the semicolon, you can see 
that it is elaborating and clarifying the first phrase. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord was precious. Mm -hmm. Because when you hear the word precious, obviously, immediately you imagine that the word of the Lord was important. Mm -hmm. But then that becomes yes. satirical mm -hmm. in the sense that the word of the Lord should be precious all the time. Mm -hmm. If the scripture says the word of the Lord was precious yes. in those days, mm -hmm. then there's a problem. Mm -hmm. What about in these days? If yeah. the word of the Lord was, was precious in those, in those days, days, what about in these, these days? days? But let's, let's leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the second phrase, and there was no open mm -hmm. vision, it then means the word precious is not just giving us a connotation of value. Mm -hmm. It is also giving us a connotation of availability. Yes. The word of the Lord was rare. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord was scarce. Mm -hmm. And when something becomes scarce, supply yes. and demand economics, mm -hmm. they, it dictates that something becomes of high value. Mm -hmm. That is precious. Mm -hmm. So what caused the word of the Lord to be so precious mm -hmm. was its unavailability, mm -hmm. its scarcity. Oh, yes. You see, Pastor? Yes. Yes. That's now a crisis. Mm -hmm. It's a crisis in the sense that you and me, mm -hmm. we are found wanting by this scripture mm -hmm. because the word of the Lord mm -hmm. is abandoned. 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 And this is why it is no longer precious. Mm. <laughs> 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 So when people are hunting for the word, the word of the Lord, of the it's very important okay. to them. Mm -hmm. When somebody comes with a vision to say, mm -hmm. I have seen a vision, mm -hmm. everyone wants to sit down yes. and listen to that person. Mm -hmm. What have you heard? Mm -hmm. But when the word of God is so abundant, like it was in the days of, of Solomon, God was very common. Mm -hmm. You won't have anyone who wants to see your God. If you say, I have gold at home, they will say, everyone has gold at home. Mm. We are not coming to your house <laughs> because we are not interested in your oh, gold. God. You see, Pastor? Yes. So, we are going to face a situation where our access to the spiritual mm -hmm. is going to be diminished, restricted, and also censored on account of our value system. Mm -hmm. The moment the word of God becomes common to you, mm -hmm. you won't find more of the, 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 the graces of God manifesting to give you access to spiritual access because God will be saying, you are despising what gives you spiritual access. Mm -hmm. Because our spirituality is based on the word. word. So, sufficing to say, one who has no word in him mm -hmm. is not spiritual. Mm -hmm. There is nothing spiritual to talk to him about. Yes, it's a waste yes, of time. Yes. Spirituality begins with, with the, the word. word. Mm -hmm. As we shall see, we are in First Samuel chapter 3. Mm -hmm. In verse 1, mm -hmm. the Lord introduced the word. But when you read the whole passage up to verse 10, mm -hmm. you will not find the word right. there. You will find spiritual access, mm -hmm. visitations of God yes. to humanity. Mm -hmm. These are called spiritual access. access. Spiritual access is when, when the earth, mm -hmm. the earth finds contact mm -hmm. with the divine. Yes. Spiritual access is when the world, the physical, gets contact, gets into contact with the immaterial world. Mm -hmm. That's a spiritual access. Mm -hmm. When the material world gets into contact with the immaterial world, that's a spiritual access. Mm -hmm. But let me also give a disclaimer that 
no matter how one might not want to learn about these things, someone may claim to be an atheist, I don't believe in God, I don't want anything to do with God. But at some point in life, humanity is quick to surrender. Mm -hmm. That's why God, in most cases, does not take to heart our robust resistance mm -hmm. to the ways of God. Mm -hmm. He knows, in most cases, it's just baby tantrums. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a baby throwing himself <laughs> onto the ground, <laughs> protesting that you have taken the remote control from his hand? Mm -hmm. And parents do not get fussy about it. Mm -hmm. They don't get angry. They know very soon he will be sleeping. Yes. And when he wakes up, he won't remember mm -hmm. what he was uh, throwing tantrums about. Mm -hmm. So God behaves the same towards us. Mm -hmm. We throw tantrums. And we are convinced <laughs> that our tantrums will change things. <laughs> But God won't take them to heart mm. because as little babies, yes. because of the, <laughs> the balance of power that God uses to look at us, mm -hmm. he doesn't find himself uh, requiring or required to come down and meet us at that point of, 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 of nonsense. So it doesn't matter how you, you resist the spiritual, mm. but every man who get access to the spiritual. Yes. If not voluntarily, then involuntarily. Mm -hmm. If not in this life, then in the afterlife. Because when you leave this world at the point of death, mm -hmm. that will be your first access to the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Death is spiritual, by the way. Mm -hmm. Death is spiritual. spiritual. So there are other areas of life where men may say, I don't want to be involved in the spiritual. Why should I be spiritual? Mm -hmm. Life is physical. Mm -hmm. I have to go to work. Let me eat my supper. Let me go to bed. Mm -hmm. Let me take a bath. Everything is physical. Mm -hmm. There's nothing immaterial to talk about. Mm -hmm. Don't believe mm -hmm. these religious men who couldn't find jobs. Mm -hmm. And now they are trying to assume and to assert themselves is some kind of spiritual authorities and trying to force themselves to be relevant by bringing some fictitious uh, contentions to us. No, mm -hmm. no. I will show you through just the three scriptures because of time that even those who do not want to get access to the spiritual mm -hmm. by force mm -hmm. and by nature, yes. they have already made contact with the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. And if, if you were not aware, I will educate you. Mm. Because if you die without knowing this, you'll be surprised that death will be your first contact mm -hmm. with the immaterial world. And you'll be very disappointed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because for the first the time, time. Mm -hmm. your eyes will see properly. Mm -hmm. And you will discover that what we see with our naked eyes mm -hmm. is less real than what we are seeing with our spiritual eyes. Really? And that's something that God made with his wisdom, but which is very, very unfair mm -hmm. to a mortal because you are making decisions on your practical life mm -hmm. based on your physical eyesight, mm -hmm. which is telling you things that are exaggerated. Yes. The moment your eyes are opened to see into the spiritual you realize that most of the things that you see with the naked eye, they are exaggerated. Mm -hmm. So you have to turn them down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you are making decisions based on magnifying mm -hmm. glasses reports. Mm -hmm. Imagine if one day you take off those magnifying glasses. Mm -hmm. Imagine, Pastor, mm -hmm. if a man marries mm -hmm. using those magnifying glasses. And after he settles down into marriage, really? he takes them off. Ecclesiastes <laughs> 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 uh, chapter 11, verse 5. Mm -hmm. These are the scriptures that will show you that everyone mm -hmm. has access to the spirit realm. Yes. But there are two points of access which are 
rather of not much use mm -hmm. to this physical life. Yes. You have access to the spirit realm, mm -hmm. but you are not allowed to use that access to, to, to function in this world. Mm -hmm. I call it the exit and the entry point mm -hmm. access. Mm -hmm. The exit and the, the entry, entry point, point access. access. The entry point access was discussed by the preacher All right. in mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 5. Yes. Yes. Yes, thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit. No, now take note of the appearance of the word spirit. Mm -hmm. I want to be very clear, as you shall find out, he's not talking about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about the demon. Mm -hmm. Neither is he talking about the yeah. unphysical dimension. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the mm -hmm. numa, the human spirit. Mm -hmm. Because the word spirit has four connotations oh, yes. in the yes. Bible. Yes. Yes. It has four possible meanings. Mm -hmm. The word spirit with a capital S refers to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The word spirit also appears in three other counts with a small s. Right. But based on context, it has three possible meanings. Mm -hmm. An example is when you look at Acts 16, 16, mm -hmm. there is a woman with the spirit of divination. Yes. The word spirit there refers to a demon. Yes. But when you look at uh, Romans 8, 16, mm -hmm. the spirit itself bears witness, witness with, with our us. spirit. Yes. yes that we are the children of God. Mm -hmm. The second counter appearance of the word spirit, the small s, mm -hmm. refers to the human mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. But of course, when you read John chapter 4, verse 24, mm -hmm. there is the word spirit again. Yes. In the second count, mm -hmm. it refers to the dimension. Oh, yes. God is a spirit. The first count of spirit refers to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. Yes. And in truth, mm -hmm. the second counter appearance of the word spirit refers to an unphysical mm -hmm. dimension. Mm -hmm. And there are two unphysical dimensions. Mm -hmm. There is a light unphysical dimension mm -hmm. and there is a darkness unphysical dimension. Mm -hmm. They are both spiritual dimensions. Mm -hmm. I was using unphysical mm -hmm. to make it simpler yes. because I can't be defining spirit we're using the word spirit, spirit again. again. Yes. That's why I was using the word physical. But when we say spiritual dimension, mm -hmm. we are talking about we are talking about a dimension spiritual. We are talking about a dimension. Another example is in First Corinthians two fourteen mm -hmm. uh, uh, and fifteen. Mm -hmm. We are talking about this dimension mm -hmm. that is not natural. Yes. But the natural man. This is not the things, things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him, mm -hmm. neither can he know them, because they are spiritually descent. The word is spiritual there now mm -hmm. is a dimension. All right. You understand? Yes. Then in verse 15, what does he say? But he that is spiritual, spiritual. judges all things. Spiritual, no? Yes. It's with a small s. Mm -hmm. It's not addressing all the spirit. Yes. It's not addressing a demon. Yes. It's not addressing the human spirit. No. It's addressing the, the unphysical mm -hmm. dimension, mm -hmm. the immaterial mm -hmm. dimension. Yes. So I think this is clear. We don't want to go into these details, but sometimes we clarify them for the sake of time. Yes. So when we come back to Ecclesiastes 11.5, yes. we want to show you that everyone mm -hmm. passes through a spiritual contact, right. an unphysical physical. dimensional contact mm -hmm. for you to come into this world. Mm -hmm. Yes. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit. The road. Of the spirit. Yes. Take note of this contention. Mm -hmm. Take note of this mystery. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery. I have not taught about it. Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating. Mm -hmm. Plus the Lord has not allowed me to teach about it. Okay. I will hint you why I haven't taught about it. For the past eight years, mm -hmm. I've read this scripture. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking for certain clues. Yes. For me to teach this scripture mm -hmm. the proper way. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Yes. I can hold on to sermons for years. I don't know how I got this ability. Yes. But those who started to listen to the John series, mm -hmm. they know. Mm -hmm. As early as 2016, mm -hmm. I started talking about the John series. series. Yes. 
I knew then mm -hmm. that I wasn't equipped to tackle the joint series. Yeah. So I put it on hold. Sometimes the Lord reveals things gradually. Mm -hmm. And a minister of the Lord, mm -hmm. a minister of the word, needs to be a very yeah. patient man. Mm -hmm. A very patient man. Yes. Start afresh. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit. So we want to ask what is Solomon talking about here? Yes. So far we know he is discussing the rod mm -hmm. of someone called the, the spirit. spirit yes. Let's find out what is he talking about. Know how the bones do grow in the womb of hair that is with child. Even so thou knowest not the works of God who makes all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now, if you were wondering, Apostle, you have preached so many messages. Mm -hmm. Just master some courage and teach us. Teach us, yes. But if you look at the preacher, mm -hmm. he also acknowledged that, that no one knows, knows these things, <laughs> which means whatever we are going to learn, yes. we are going to learn in part. Lord, we yes. are going to know in part. Mm -hmm. So what is he talking about, Pastor? Yes. He's talking about how a child is born. born. Mm -hmm. So it discusses two things. Yes. Does anyone know mm -hmm. how bones grow hey. in the uterus mm -hmm. of a woman which is pregnant? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Science is still studying, mm -hmm. but there are also so many gray areas. Mm -hmm. When you look at those who, who study uh, 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 gynecology and obstetrics, mm -hmm. so many gray areas. All right. What else should we be careful about? Where, where we say, you don't know the way of the spirit. Let's mm -hmm. highlight that part. Yes. So yes. he divides it into two. Mm -hmm. He divides the spirit yes. and the flesh. Okay. He starts with the spirit mm -hmm. and he then mentions bones. Oh. Because Solomon knew mm -hmm. man was a spirit yes. before man had a body. body. So before we can talk about growing bones mm -hmm. in the womb of a that is with child, mm -hmm. there must be a spirit mm -hmm. that makes these bones to grow. Yes. <laughs> but have you ever thought the about way. it, child? Have you ever paused a moment mm -hmm. to think about it? When Adam was made to become a living soul, mm -hmm. God made a body from the dust of the ground. Mm -hmm. And after he had completed making, he blew into his nostrils and man became a living soul. So the human spirit that was created in Genesis chapter 1 mm -hmm. remained in God mm -hmm. while God was busy building a body. Yes. And when the body was made, mm -hmm. God took out from himself mm -hmm. And he blew into the body, mm -hmm. which did not need to grow mm -hmm. inside any woman's womb. Yes. There was no woman's womb involved. Mm -hmm. God did everything. God was the father and mother mm -hmm. of Adam. Hey. Have you ever thought about it? Mm -hmm. Where is the human spirit? Mm -hmm. And at what point does this human spirit get into... A body. At what point? Okay, let me let me clarify it further. Mm -hmm. Science says when a man is intimate with a woman, mm -hmm. he releases up to four million cells mm -hmm. that are capable of impregnating four million women at mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. But only one sperm goes into the uterus mm -hmm. to fertilize the egg, and if it splits. They are twins. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. the question, Pastor, is mm -hmm. so if there are four million sperm cells mm -hmm. that leave a man, mm -hmm. do they all have spirits? <laughs> <laughs> Am I? <laughs> <laughs> So that we could say to the spirits of dead sperms suffocated in the woman's womb. <laughs> Which means each time a child is born, mm -hmm. we have four million souls. Mm -hmm. 
that have that have died. Are you getting this? Yes. But the, the bigger question really is if you meet a boy right now mm -hmm. who is eight years old, mm -hmm. of course he already has a seed in his loins. Mm -hmm. Whether that seed is capable to impregnate a woman or not, not. that's another story. Mm -hmm. But when a child is born, he is born with all the organs mm -hmm. that he is going to use, of course. He needs to mature mm -hmm. for that organ to function. Yes. We understand that. Yeah. But let's say when we look at a boy who is eight years old, mm -hmm. because so far scientific evidence has proven mm -hmm. that an eight-year-old boy mm -hmm. can impregnate a woman. Mm -hmm. So far, yes, there is such evidence. <laughs> it has happened. Let's say an eight-year-old or a ten-year-old when does the spirit of the child who is going to be born to this eight-year-old, when does he come into this world? Number one, answer A, was this boy born with these children in his loins? Mm -hmm. <laughs> If that is the case, he opa aga jarwa. So ya ke aga pindari ni muna baba aga. So if a man is going to have five children, mm -hmm. when God sends that seed that is going to be a five children into another man's loins, mm -hmm. does God deposit the six souls into a man's loins? Mm -hmm. One carrying five, so that when this one comes out, he comes out with the five, five souls. souls to multiply later. Is that how it happens? So Solomon simply said, nobody knows. knows how it happens. When does the spirit man mm -hmm. leave God to come into manifestation? Because of course we shall read the scripture soon and we shall see that the spirits that we see here on earth, mm -hmm. they are coming from God. I, I can assure you, <laughs> such a scripture is there in the Bible. Hey. Mm -hmm. And take note of my choice of words. Mm -hmm. I did not say the spirits are coming from heaven. No. I said coming from God. Mm -hmm. And God has offices in different galaxies mm -hmm. and different planets mm -hmm. and different environments. Mm -hmm. Some of them are outside the planetorial environments. Mm -hmm. So God can place those spirits elsewhere other than heaven. Mm -hmm. Because for heaven to be entered, there needs to be qualification. And the qualification is the blood of Jesus, yes. which is an earthly a, 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 a encounter. Mm -hmm. No one can find heaven without the passing blood. through the earth because the blood of Jesus was okay. availed on the earth okay. and not on Mars, mm -hmm. on Jupiter, no. on Mercury, or on the, on the moon. The blood of Jesus was placed on the earth. Okay. Anyone who wants to go to heaven must first pass through the earth. That's where we are born into the earth. Mm -hmm. to find the blood yes. by which we qualify to go to heaven. Yeah, yeah. But where is the spirit man coming from? from? We don't know the realm, but we know the source mm -hmm. who runs that realm. It is God. Right. But at what point does the spirit man leave whatever, wherever it is, mm -hmm. to come into this world? Mm -hmm. Others may come, however, with a different theory and say, well, you are talking about living a realm to manifest on earth. What if these souls multiply at birth? Yeah. Which means each time a child is born, born, he multiplies the human spirit into many that then go and settle into the men's loins. Mm. By so assuming, we would have made a great blunder. Yes. We would have assumed that the human spirit is a biological phenomenon. <laughs> because only biology has got this system of fusing and splitting into different cells. Mm -hmm. In spirit terms, what was made remains until the end of time. You understand, Pastor? Yes. So, 
Munu, Paulo Zonzo, what a mu 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 mbe we are pinda mu dumbrem kazi. Negudi kana mu yao kasa pinda mu mbe uyo yo. I kure. Negudi nyama ina upenyu pasi na mu ya. Pesi pano nzipa ne mu pano ne upenyu pano da mu ya. Me nyama udiri sanga. Saka murume ano si mbe uya ke mu mzimai mzimai otakura. Kuti tito tu mzimai otakura unge mu ya watu wapo. Mubunzo wai bunzo na Solomon. Dewe kut. Dia ano no zira zira. Ino teverwa ne mwe pano zarwa mumu. Saka Solomon anga to sia na we kuti mwe ano gosipo. Aka tijiri pa chena mwe ano gosipo pa nyika. Pos kuti mwe ano denzira ka. Ungo ida kufamba. Na is Solomon I forgot mwe ano ramba uripo. I zatara zenzira. Which means we have to discard. The second theory mm -hmm. that spirits multiply mm -hmm. the same way flesh multiply. No. No. A spirit cannot give birth to another spirit. Yes. Only God is the father of, of spirits. spirits. <laughs> so when my only child calls me father, mm -hmm. he is not addressing his spirit. Mm -hmm. I have no capacity to be God a spirit mm -hmm. because I am not a spirit. Yes. I am a flesh man. Mm -hmm. When I say I am a spirit, I am not talking about being able to generate. Mm -hmm. I am talking about being generated myself. Yes. I became a spirit mm -hmm. when I was regenerated by the word of God. Yes. Akuna munu akapuwa simbare kubereka mwea. John chapter 3 verse number 6. Mm -hmm. There is no flesh that can father a spirit. Yes. There is no spirit that, that can, can father a flesh. Yes. Yes. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So this is a theory that says when a man is born, mm -hmm. he is able to generate spirits by himself. Uh, okay. Which means when you have a child, mm -hmm. you are both a physical father of that child mm -hmm. and a spiritual father. Because of scriptures like John chapter 3 verse 6, mm -hmm. the flesh cannot it's birth a spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. And when we look at John 4 24, mm -hmm. it says God is it's a spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. Which means if we find a spirit, mm -hmm. only God can father a spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. Because we are now qualifying uh, John 3, 6 with John 4, 24. Yes. Flesh can be God to flesh mm -hmm. and the spirit can be God to spirit. Yes. Who is a spirit? Mm -hmm. It is God. God is a spirit. Yes. Therefore, whenever we want to see a spirit, mm -hmm. God, not a man, yes. should father that spirit. Mm -hmm. For further reference, you can read Hebrews 12, verse number 8 to 10. We don't have time. Yes. So, yeah. According to Solomon, the spirit comes from God. Mm -hmm. What Solomon failed to find out mm -hmm. was the rod yes. that the spirit uses <laughs> to come <laughs> into this world. Hey. Tinongo tumwana zvarwa makorokoto chigutiro taboka kuta hapana tambo zvibvunza kuti wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Kuvapaka gadzirwa Adam takazodzi tinozvarwa sei zvi. Pozi mwari hanga tipese pano zvarwa nemunoka oti ofuridzira only Adam needed the breath of life mm. to be blown into his nostrils. Yes, yes. God is no longer using the Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 way mm -hmm. to multiply Adam's children. Mm -hmm. A different process yes. is being used. Mm -hmm. That process, my dear, is still a mystery <laughs> until today. Yes. And this is why I have refrained mm -hmm. from teaching from Ecclesiastes 11.5. Mm -hmm. I am still learning. Yes. I am that preacher who admit that I am in a dandite on this matter <laughs> until the Lord enlightens me. I don't feel ashamed mm. to say this. So I'm not teaching about this. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to know that 
When you look at Ecclesiastes 11, 5, past, mm-hmm. I don't know if you are going to go back to Samuel, but <laughs> we may postpone it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when we look at Ecclesiastes 11, 5, mm-hmm. we have evidence yes. that everyone who is on earth mm-hmm. had a contact oh. with the divine oh, yes. by virtue of his very manifestation. Mm-hmm. Because the human spirit was with God. God. For you to manifest on earth, you had to have a contact <laughs> with the spirit realm. Yes. The unfortunate thing is, you were not old enough to know, know it, it, to see it, mm-hmm. to hear it happening. So you don't know what happened. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this entrance. Yes. I said it's called, it's called what? <laughs> I missed the exit the entrance. Exit. The exit and entrance access. The exit entrance access. access point, yes. yes. The exit entrance access. Yes. So you were there. Mm-hmm. Of course, you left a certain realm. Mm-hmm. You ended up in your mother's womb. Mm-hmm. During that transition, during that road, mm-hmm. during that trip, mm-hmm. you were so tiny <laughs> and so off. Um, you, 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 you don't know what don't happened know. until today. Yes. Science has no control over these things. There are no imagery machines that can figure mm. out how a spirit Interest. manifests until a woman finds life in a womb to say mm. the baby is kicking and the father touches his wife's womb to yes. feel the boy yes. kicking. Kick. Nobody knows, I can assure you, those are mysteries that those who want to pray <laughs> should go and pray. Uh, Solomon admitted ignorance to this yes, matter. He said, yes. as thou knowest not, not what mm, is the way of the, the spirit. spirit. No, not even a forensic professor. Mm. <laughs> not begging from the future. Yeah. <laughs> She know kavate ri onto na uta apana chosi kano. Vano to taura. For example, if you check Makandiwa's messages, he actually taught that we have a capacity to birth the spirits. That's what he taught. Mm. And when you see such a man smartly dressed <laughs> like that, talking like that, <laughs> the Nigerians have got an adage which says, "When your eyes have seen your ears." <laughs> Know that something is wrong with your mind. <laughs> yeah. They also say when a handshake exceeds the elbow, it has turned into something else. <laughs> it's no longer a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> How can a flesh be God a spirit? Go and read First Corinthians 15. Apostle Paul dedicated the whole chapter, chapter. Mm-hmm. speaking about the distinction. Mm-hmm. between the father of the flesh yes. and the father of the spirit, spirit yes. which is Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's a simple scripture. Yes. You don't need to have yourself twisted in your mind like that. Mm-hmm. Let's leave it. Okay. So this is the entrance access point. point. You passed it through a spirit realm mm-hmm. when you were being born. Mm-hmm. The unfortunate thing is no one knows how it happened. You don't know how it happened. Yes. Your father does not know. Mm -hmm. Your mother does not know. If you ask your father and your mother, Mm -hmm. their story begins with their bedroom. Mm -hmm. It ends with their bedroom. Mm -hmm. But believe me, you came a very long way from an unknown destination (laughs) until you manifested into the earth. Nobody knows until this day how it happens. Ask your neighbor, do you want to know? How much do you think you are going to know? Ongo chitu wa kuziva magwaro. Masemunza akanda ano bva kuprovera kuti kuti stress past kuti. Eh kama ichikwa dika pepe mwari vakaburitsa mune yaka vakaisa munada. Ata makano biri kava. Mhm. Kupa kazvarwa kaidi mwe yakafamba se. Hamba kuna ada mvude. This is the entrance access. The entrance point access. Let's look at the exit access. Mm-hmm. When you leave also, you pass through a room. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 12 mm-hmm. verse number 6 and 7 Yes Yes Or ever the silver cord be loosed Yes or the golden bowl be broken He was talking about a a a a remember your creator mm-hmm. remember your creator yes before the silver cord is mm-hmm. loosed yes yes or the golden bowl be broken make sure you do it before the golden bowl is broken yes <laughs> or the pitcher be broken at the fountain yes or the wheel broken at the cistern yes yes Mm-hmm. What shall happen? Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Where shall the body go to? Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. What is he talking about? The exit. Yeah, but but what the, is he describing as the dust there? The flesh. The, the body. body. Mm-hmm. Where shall the body go? To the dust. As the it body was. shall return to the earth as it, it was. was. Mm-hmm. What about the spirit? and the spirit shall return unto god <laughs> take note pastor the scripture does not say the spirit shall return to heaven no 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 because there are people who can't read pastor <laughs> <laughs> there are people who simply can't read. <laughs> they will go around <laughs> saying the Bible is clear. Yes. We came back from heaven. <laughs> we will go back <laughs> to heaven. <laughs> they are forgetting yes. that the creation did not happen in heaven. heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I used to remember that. Yes. When we learned even in the... If you go, yes, if you go to Genesis chapter 1, one. <laughs> God was not in heaven. No. He wasn't. God was not in heaven. <laughs> God actually was outside, outside heaven. heaven. Creation yes. was done from, from outside, outside heaven. Mm-hmm. Adam was, was created it? outside heaven. Yes. So don't confuse yourself. We <laughs> beg you. <laughs> and and pastor, comment yes, on the word spirit in Ecclesiastes 12:7. Yes. Is he talking about Holy Spirit? No. Is he talking not, about a demon? No. Is he talking about a dimension? No. What is he talking about? The pneuma. The pneuma. Yes. Is it not a lovely scripture, Pastor, <laughs> verse 7? Could it you is. please read it again? <laughs> Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. The dust shall be buried. The yes. body will be buried. Yes. And the spirit shall return. There are others the who are saying, we don't want to be buried. <laughs> <laughs> and you ask them what do you want to to happen to your body mm-hmm. they say cremate it yes what should we do we do with the ashes mm-hmm. throw, throw them, them to the wind mm-hmm. they do not know that the wind will put everything down to the earth is the same thing <laughs> you are still being buried to the ground what is simply happening is you are giving the ground a refined mm-hmm. body a charred mm-hmm. And 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 a smoked body, <laughs> and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Akomana. Yes. The spirit <laughs> shall return to, to, to heaven. <laughs> to God. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit <laughs> shall return to God. God. Which means, chungo puda munya machet maranga kumirira. Chungo puda munya maga. The way, the same way, Pastor. Yes. Nobody knows the way in. Nobody knows also the way out. Yeah. It's a mystery. Explains why it is an entrance and exit. It's an it's exit entrance it's access. access. Yes. yes. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is these access points, mm-hmm. the world of the living. Yes. Does not know the details, but what I can assure you is, when you leave, by the time you leave, you will have some ideas on how it happens. Mm-hmm. But God closed that as soon as you leave, the door will be closed, mm-hmm. so you can't come back to tell the people. <laughs> Let me tell you, don't be fooled by God. I know how to go. <laughs> you can't come back to tell the people yes. how it happens. Mm. I've got some confession to make. Wait for that confession. <laughs> But 
But let's read Job 34, verse number 12 to 14 first. Mm -hmm. 12 Maybe to up 14. to verse 15, yes. Yes. It says, Yeah, surely God will not do wickedly, neither will the Almighty pervert judgment. God will always be executing righteous judgment, yes. Yes. Who has given him a charge over the earth? No, but tasked God with anything on the earth. Or who has disposed the whole world? Yes. If he set his heart upon men, if he gather unto himself his spirit and his breath, yes. all flesh shall perish together, and men shall turn again unto dust. But you see how Elihu, the son of Barak, Barak. Was brought in this matter. Yes. He started with the spirit. Mm -hmm. What would God do to the spirit, verse yes. 14b? If he gather unto himself his spirit. Man's his spirit. Yes. Because he was talking about man. Yes. If he set his heart upon For man, man. Yes. God wants to take man. Mm -hmm. What will God do? God will gather Father unto himself, himself his, his spirit. spirit. The same as the preacher. <laughs> it will return to God. So... This is why, brethren, when you look at the scriptures mm -hmm. of old, mm -hmm. each time the Bible describes somebody dying, mm -hmm. it uses the phrase, gave yeah. up the ghost. Yes, yes. The word ghost there mm -hmm. is it's just a terminology that was introduced in the contemporary mm -hmm. uh, um, transliterations and translations of the Bible, but... Yes. The, the, the word spirit is the right word. Right. If you look at uh, Genesis chapter 25, mm -hmm. um, Genesis chapter 25, mm -hmm. uh, verse 17. Genesis and 25, this, verse 17, yes. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael. These are the years of the life of Ishmael, yes. In hundred and thirty and seven years. Okay. And he gave up the ghost and died. What did Abraham do? Verse number, number eight. eight says, Then Abraham gave up the ghost. Abraham gave up the, the ghost. It is the spirit. Verse 17 again. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, and yes. 137 years. Ishmael, what happened to him? And he gave up the ghost and died. Ishmael gave up. Yes. Why do they use the phrase gave up, up when they are talking about dying? Mm -hmm. The answer is simple. Yes. You give up something that mm -hmm. is required. All right, all right. So each time a person leaves the earth, mm -hmm. It means your spirit is leaving this earth mm -hmm. on demand. Mm -hmm. God will require yes. your spirit to live. Mm -hmm. Let's also look at how Jacob died. Mm -hmm. How Jacob died. How Jacob died. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis 49. 49. Yes. Verse number 33. And when Jacob had made an end of commanding his sons, yes. he gathered up his feet into the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. Oh, mm -hmm. who was gathered up to his people? It's Jacob. Jacob. What did he do? He, he yielded he up. up the yes, ghost. Yes. He, he surrendered. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the explanation as to how God demands our spirits mm -hmm. at death mm -hmm. was only given cl clearly mm -hmm. sufficiently in Luke 12 mm -hmm. in verse 16 mm -hmm. up to verse number verse number 21. And he spake a parable unto them. This saying, is the only scripture I'm going to find it clearly as this. Mm -hmm. Why is it described as giving up the ghost? Mm -hmm. Yes. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Okay, there's a rich man who is producing good food and abundant uh, grains in his farms. And he thought within himself, what saying, did he say? What shall I do? Yes. Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. Yes. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my bands and build 
uh, greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. Mm -hmm. And I will say to my soul, My spirit, thou, so, yes. thou hast much goods laid you up have for many years. You have enough potatoes and you have enough, <laughs> enough lettuce and green beans. Yes. Yes. Take thine easy and take thine easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. What did God say? But God said that. Who was to talking? Him. In verse 20, who was talking? In verse 20, is now God talking to him. Thou but fool. God spoke unto him. Yes. What did God say unto him? Thou fool. Thou fool. Yes. Yes. This night thy soul shall be required of thee. Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hey, yes. Yeah. The good thing about Luke 12 is it's the Lord, Lord Jesus it, yes. who, who, who designed everything. Mm -hmm. So this is the architect of life. Yes. Telling you how death happens. Mm -hmm. Each time death happens, yes. it is happening at the request mm -hmm. of the soul. So. In this case, the word the soul is referring to the spirit. spirit yes. Because the soul is the union mm -hmm. between the body and the and the spirit. Yes. But the body, according to scripture, mm -hmm. it will return to the, the dust, dust, to the ground mm -hmm. from where it was taken. Yes. But the spirit will come back to God mm -hmm. who gave it. Yes. So we are now applying Ecclesiastes 12 7 mm -hmm. on Luke 12 20. Yes. And Ecclesiastes 12, 7, mm. it explains why God will require the soul of a fool. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 again. <laughs> then shall the dust return to the earth yes. as it was. It was earthy before it will be earth again. And the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Who gave it. Yes. So it's a requisition from the one who gave it. Yes. That's why he doesn't want to be asked why. Mm -hmm. God doesn't want to ask you to be asked why. Mm -hmm. He wants to take the soul of a, of a fool. Why? why? Pastor, <laughs> Isha got in the Torah. I'm going to in Dava. Answer, I said to Baba Vesavin. Yes, I got to Waika. Mutu Tower out to Muribe and I'm Zia with Chichi Witi. Can I'm Chisiva with him in Dia Kapa Mayo? Imagine how to make a criticism of Bara Pastor. Moenda Gumbakuya, Moenda Stora Bara, Monsinda. And what about the last British? And they open Bara Musuno, which you know, Tagra, Dandarin. Para de Rango and Dina need you to explain. Could it not be? Yes. You go to what in Deram, Chukon's Rachel, Chakaqua, Chukura Bara. So God will not answer the why question. I know when we are grieved, when we lose our loved ones, mm -hmm. we are so pained. I've gone through that myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to ask God why. why? Mm -hmm. I can assure you, mm -hmm. God owes nobody no explanation. Hey. Nobody. It's true. When you ask why, mm -hmm. you are telling God that you are a fool. <laughs> you have not yet met God. Mm -hmm. You know nothing about yes. spiritual yes. things. Mm -hmm. You are proving to be a pagan mm -hmm. who has no knowledge whatsoever mm -hmm. about God. Mm -hmm. But when we are educating you here like this, yes. even when you are bereaved, when you lose a loved one, mm -hmm. you don't weep and sorrow as those without hope. Yes. You have hope. Yes. Yes. You know what is happening. Yes. So, the situation we find ourselves in when we lose our loved ones to death, mm -hmm. it's like you are keeping... You are farming broiler chickens at your house. Mm -hmm. And so among your chickens, two chickens become close friends. Very close friends. They feed together in the feeding trough. <laughs> they spend the whole day following each other. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are in love. Mm -hmm. It's a hen and a cockerel. Mm -hmm. And then one day, you decide that you want to cook the cockerel. <laughs> <laughs> you want to cook the cockerel, yes. you boil your water, uh -huh. you send your son, catch that cockerel, mm -hmm. I want to cook it today. Mm -hmm. Can the wife of the cockerel 
scream and say and ask why. why? Mm. <laughs> it's when they happen. Muriwo. <laughs> 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 Chimwe zvikotora zvinani chongurudza pana apa mukaura yawo totora rama pana apa ndiri yerugare nechikotora icho chichi nda chino chikiva pana zvimwe zvipana zvino chongurudza pamusha pana apa ndanga muno vana vangwa vanodzikwa dzikwa kana mukaura yapa kwawo nda kumura aita sei ikona ask kuchika mumunda mevanhu wana so we have a tendency to ask god why and we say This man was a decent man. Mm. This man was a family man, mm. a peaceful man, yes. a humble man. man. Why would God take such a man? Hey. As if God told you that death happens to trouble causes. There is no <laughs> such doctrine in the scriptures. Yes. You see? Mhm. As it is appointed unto yeah, to all men once, once to, to die, die. Yes. and after that the judgment. That's 9, it was 9, 27. 27 and 28. Yes. And when you look at Genesis 3:19, mm-hmm. we were taken from the dust and we shall return to the dust. Yes. That's the simple yes. explanation. Yes. Don't talk about witchcraft. Don't talk mm-hmm. about ritual killings. Mm-hmm. Don't talk about increasing crime. Yes. Don't talk about gun violence. Mm-hmm. Death was designed by God to happen to all men. So so we we just wanted to clarify this but it has nothing to do with the matter we have we are not going to touch the Samuel issue let's end at chapter 3 <laughs> verse 1 and I will, I will, I will wrap up my introduction mm-hmm. with with emphasis on the access points doesn't matter how much people do not want to admit the existence of God some will say we admit the existence of God we don't identify with the the the, the orthodox method mm-hmm. of finding god mm-hmm. which is the religion method. method we want to use a scientific method mm-hmm. or others who say our problem with the religion is it's too dogmatic mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it causes people to be narrow minded mm-hmm. it doesn't matter your argument but at some point everyone who admit that we have a superior environment to the one we live in the spirit environment that's why even those who don't believe in god mm-hmm. they speak on the grave site of their loved ones you don't believe in god mm-hmm. but you bury your sister you write a message on the tombstone whom are you writing to you are acknowledging that your sister is somewhere mm-hmm. that's an admission of the spirit realm <laughs> yes yes when your sister was still alive you didn't talk to her without seeing her mm-hmm. you couldn't enter into any room and start to say my sister i miss you so much you had to call her you had to visit her yes. why are you talking to your sister whom you don't see mm-hmm. by the grave site of your sister you are believing mm-hmm. that the words you are speaking somehow 
they will behave the same way. way. That's an admission mm -hmm. that the spirit realm mm -hmm. eventually yes. is exist existing. Yes. Yes. So, so let's not let's not <laughs> really um, have a, a, a bit of semantics. Mm -hmm. The truth is, the whole world mm -hmm. admits yes. there's a realm mm -hmm. beyond this one yes. we live in. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately. The exit access point mm -hmm. is inaccessible to the living mm -hmm. as much as the entry point is mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are all going to participate. We are going to have contact with the spiritual. Mm -hmm. We are going to be, have contact with the spiritual, mm -hmm. the unphysical. Mm -hmm. But the method is a very, very uh, deprivative mm -hmm. because it doesn't give the living knowledge of what is happening. Mm -hmm. The moment you are going to be breathing your last, believe me, you are going to experience something that is so amazing. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to make a confession. This is my confession. I once left my body. Mm -hmm. I am not saying this to convince you to believe it. I don't really care <laughs> whether you believe it or not, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. I left this body at some point. It mm -hmm. happened not once. Mm -hmm. I left this body and I went somewhere and I experienced leaving this body. Mm -hmm. I can assure you, mm -hmm. I can assure you, those who cry when people die, mm -hmm. they are those who have been left by the plane. But see, one day, I don't know, Chema. I think I am dead, guy, Chema, and we tell Rachel. I'm going to knock you. If those are market, I'm going to kick up the room like it's a name. Then you go to Ambra, then you go to Jenda, and we are going to go to Ambra. So, the mystery about the exit access point mm -hmm. is that the moment you encounter it, you start mm -hmm. to encounter it. Mm -hmm. Your memory is shut down for those moments from the previous world. You don't leave this world while remembering it mm -hmm. or thinking about it. There's a transition, a very, very sporadic, spontaneous transition. Mm -hmm. You don't know how it comes into existence, but immediately you start living. Mm -hmm. Your orientation is changed. Mm -hmm. You don't think about anything. From this side. Next life, how exist. The institution is so great. Mm. Only God matters that, that side. Only God is to the... <laughs> I believe it. So, so I wanted to just capture this and share this with you. The moment you start to experience mm -hmm. the transition, mm -hmm. to exit this mm -hmm. physical realm, mm -hmm. spontaneously you forget about the material world, and you start to enjoy something you never thought existed. Mm -hmm. Even those who die in great pain because of serious diseases, mm -hmm. the moment they start to leave the, the body, mm -hmm. the pain vanishes spontaneously. They don't die in pain. Mm -hmm. Pain happens until the moment of death. Yes. As soon as the spirit starts to live, mm -hmm. it's a very peaceful experience and it's a very exciting experience as well. <laughs> to such an extent that you don't want to come back. Even when you are going to hell, you won't want to come back. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it was designed. Yeah. But I would also want to acknowledge that when I left my body, I didn't go to hell. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to heaven. Okay. I went to a certain environment. Mm -hmm. The only one I shared, I think I shared it too, that at the time when I went sick, I felt sick, but I remember, mm -hmm. and when the Lord called me. Yes. I have never said to anyone I went to heaven. Mm -hmm. I want to continue with my position. Yes. I've never been to heaven. Okay. 
Mm. I desire to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. But I once left this body. Mm -hmm. I can tell you this mm -hmm. without doubt. Yes. So it's an exit point access mm -hmm. to the spirit realm. Yes. If we were allowed to come back and explain to you how it happened and what is there, you would have a better desire, a more vehement desire mm. to experience the world that I am talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's an atmosphere, it's a world that is so overwhelming. When you have one access in one lifetime mm -hmm. to the immaterial world, you will have a desire for God mm -hmm. that no one can tame. Mm -hmm. But I can assure you, if 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 God was to give you that access, mm -hmm. you you would become different in in all respects. Mm -hmm. In all respects. Yeah. So when we meet people, sometimes, for example. People talk to me and say, are you not afraid mm -hmm. what these people will do to you? Mm -hmm. Talking about those who are persecuting us. Mm -hmm. Some of them are very powerful. Mm -hmm. They hold very powerful positions mm -hmm. in government. Mm -hmm. There were moments when I would think about it mm -hmm. and say, what if they would do something? Mm -hmm. But obviously, they have already done a lot. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have gone through a lot of challenges to this day. Mm -hmm. We have been harmed. Yes. We have been hurt. Mm -hmm. We have been killed. Yes. yes. But why do we not falter? Why do we not cave in? Why do we not surrender and say, mm -hmm. let us bow down mm -hmm. to corruption. Let us bow down to perversion of holiness and righteousness mm -hmm. in the name of preserving our, our mortal lives. lives. Mm -hmm. The answer is the value of your life to you today mm -hmm. will change the moment you get access mm -hmm. to the divine environment. Uh, 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 yeah. Right now, if you buy a car, you don't want anyone to drive it. Mm -hmm. It's your special car. <laughs> 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 You're not lying now. You're not lying now. It's, not, it's not a lie. There are things that you don't want anyone to touch. These are my special products. <laughs> they define who you are. They give you that prestige, that pride, mm -hmm. a sense of achievement. Mm -hmm. They distinguish you from the common lot. Yes. I'm different. At least I've got something to prove. Mm -hmm. my, 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 my uniqueness mm -hmm. in the community. Yes. But I assure you, if God was to grant you access to what I'm talking about, you will have less, less, less interest. Mm -hmm. you, you will not lose completely interest in the things of this world. Yes. You will love them. Mm -hmm. But with a level of restraint that you can't explain yourself. When you have money in your pocket, you don't feel it. Like what others feel when they have money. Have you ever felt it, Pastor? Yes. If you put a thousand dollars in your pocket, something continues to remind you. Do you know that you have 20,000 in your account? You can't forget the money in your account. Have you ever seen it, Pastor? Yes, yes. You can't forget. And if you buy a car, you want to hold the keys every time so that people may not mistake you with pedestrians. <laughs> If you want to show you the start to say you key. start to say I can't use public transport, mm -hmm. especially when you are from Africa, where public transport is used only by the poor. Mm -hmm. In other countries, people prefer public transport yes. for daily commuting yes. to work. Yes. It's even more convenient, mm -hmm. cheaper, cheaper, and faster mm -hmm. than driving to your place of work because mm -hmm. of. Uh, inconveniences associated with the traffic jams, mm -hmm. long routes, yes. because the trains, they use public trains mm -hmm. very fast, mm -hmm. very fast, very fast. Yeah, I was in New Delhi um, and I, was, I wanted to, to go from New Delhi, the CBD, to a certain place which was called Gagawan. Mm -hmm. And I, I Googled and I found out that 
it was going to take me three hours to use Uber, mm -hmm. but it was going to take me 45 minutes to use a train. Mm -hmm. Yes, the new <laughs> Delhi train system is very fast. Yeah. Uh, it's very fast. It's very three efficient. Hours. Three hours, yes, be, yes, because oh. of uh, traffic jam. Yeah, yeah three hours. Yeah. So when you say I am using public transport, when you are in those areas, mm -hmm. you don't sound poor. Or, Everyone who understands, <laughs> no, it's not poverty <laughs> that is sending you to the train. It's convenience. Yes. But when you are in Africa <laughs> and you say I'm using public transport, everyone will say this mm -hmm. one is poor or mm -hmm. poverty will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> So you always want to tell them that you own a car. <laughs> yes. But let's leave the African case. We will talk about like this because we need to uproot this case. Yes, At some point, yes, God will give yes, us grace yes. and the African case will be uprooted. Mm. We need to preach about it every time yes. so that even our mindset can get prepared mm -hmm. to live a case-free life. Yes, yes. So this is an access point. Mm -hmm. But I want to conclude by showing you that we need the word mm -hmm. to find access yes. to God because the word of God mm -hmm. is our fuel. Mm -hmm. When they want to launch a rocket, mm -hmm. they use fuel. Yes, yes. Fuel that propels rockets. You see, Pastor, I, I don't know what I was reading, but I was hearing that they 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 sent NASA sent one of their spacecrafts to the moon a few months ago. What mm -hmm. was its name? Its name. I followed it closely. Yes, I, I, remember I would, I would tell you the name. Yes, yes. They launched yes. it early in the morning. Mm -hmm. it yes, took a, yes. Twenty six days. Yes, yes, yes. It 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 traveled hundreds of thousands. Yes. Of kilometers. Mm -hmm. Per. Per, per, per day, and it arrived many days later. Mm -hmm. For it to travel that long, mm -hmm. it needs fuel. Mm -hmm. You see, aviation spirit, jet A1, those are fuels that are used by aircrafts okay. to propel them mm -hmm. to fly. Mm -hmm. The fuel that our vehicles use to mm -hmm. drive mm -hmm. is petrol and diesel. Mm -hmm. You see, in America, they call it gas. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the Americans, <laughs> they want to give things different <laughs> names all the time. They call petrol so gas. gas. <laughs> they call chips fries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But why do aircrafts need high octane fuels? Mm -hmm. than the fuels that are used by road vehicles. It's because of the thrust, the power that the aircraft needs for it to be able to take that altitude. Mm -hmm. 35,000 feet mm -hmm. above, above. above uh, the sea, sea level. Yeah. Yeah. It's flying. Mm -hmm. So it needs to generate thousands of thrust mm -hmm. to overcome gravity, to overcome drag mm -hmm. to have effective aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. So the difference in the fuel determines the ability. Mm -hmm. This aircraft needs to fly. Mm -hmm. This rocket needs to fly. Yeah. This spacecraft or spaceship, mm -hmm. it needs to fly. It needs a better fuel. Mm -hmm. So our physical bodies, we fuel them with the plates of macaroni, lasagna, means and potatoes. <laughs> and we can walk on, mm -hmm. the, on the road. We can run on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. We are fueling the body mm -hmm. with ordinary food. Yes. But for us to access the extraterrestrial, mm -hmm. the immaterial environment, the unphysical world, yes. we need a different type of fuel mm -hmm. that generates... Thousands of thrust, mm -hmm. five five hundred thousand uh, pounds of thrust. That's what they talk about. Mm -hmm. They talk about the 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 seven four sevens, the Airbus A three eighties. They generate millions, mm -hmm. two million pounds of 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 thrust mm -hmm. 
to carry that bear moth up into the sky and fly for 2,000 miles without stopping. The fuel required, is required to have superior capabilities mm -hmm. and it must generate superior levels of power. Mm -hmm. The power of a vehicle, 200 horsepower, mm -hmm. 375 newton meters of torque, you'll be putting your hands into your pocket. It's very powerful. <laughs> but when you compare it with an Umbrella 190E, mm -hmm. it will slough at you. What kind of power <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. so, so, so in order for us to have effective contact mm -hmm. with the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. we need a superior understanding of the word. Yes. Only the word is the right fuel for us to have contact with the Lord in the spiritual dimension. Yes. Now, why do we need to talk about a spiritual dimension? Isn't believing enough? Why can't we just believe in Jesus who come and you take us to heaven? Mm -hmm. There's a problem of a technicality mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. How do we go to heaven? If you ever thought about it, mm. how are you going to heaven? Mm -hmm. Is Jesus coming with an aircraft? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because talking about going to heaven yes. is a very, very yeah. sentimental matter mm. among mm. all oh, religious yes. folks. Everyone mm. wants to talk mm. about heaven. Yeah, Even dogs nowadays, <laughs> the Western people are so intoxicated with foolishness. Yes. They are now talking about their dogs dying and going to heaven. Mm -hmm. But of course, that's, that's a, a transcendent nonsense. We talked about it some few months ago. Pastor, yes, you want to go to heaven. Yes. You believe that if Jesus comes today, mm -hmm. he will take you to heaven. Mm -hmm. Have you ever asked yourself how? how? <laughs> if there are three million people who are going to heaven, is Jesus carrying them on his wings? Is he coming with wings? Maybe he's bringing a spiritual train to heaven. Mm. <laughs> So if we are going to go to heaven, mm -hmm. what then is Jesus doing now to prepare yeah. us to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. We are like little eaglets, mm -hmm. little nestlings of an ego. Mm -hmm. We must learn how to fly. Okay. Huh? <laughs> We must learn how to do what? How to fly. How to fly. Mm -hmm. Jesus has been portrayed in so many scriptures mm -hmm. as an ego. Yes. But before we talk about our Lord as an ego, let's talk about him as a hen. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 13. Yes. Verse number 34. 34. Yes. yes. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Which killest the prophets. You kill the prophets. And stonest them that are sent unto thee. Yes. How often would I have gathered thy children together? Yes. As a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, and you would not. Yes. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, you shall not see me until the time come when you shall say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. All right. I wanted to gather your children like a hen under her wings. Mm -hmm. Why look at the look at the at, at the uh, a, a comparison? Mm -hmm. The Lord is comparing Himself with a hen, mm -hmm. and He's comparing Israel with the brood, yes. the chicks mm -hmm. of a hen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the job of the hen yes. to teach this. These chicks, 
how to behave as birds, mm -hmm. how to live as birds, mm -hmm. how to function as birds, yes. because chickens are also birds. Okay. But if you look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, yes. and then verse number 12, 13 and 14. Yes. Yes. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. Yes. Yes. Verse number 12. So the woman was giving birth to a son mm -hmm. who was going to rule. Yes. And she was greatly travailing. What happened? Yes. Therefore rejoice you heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. The devil is come down unto you, yes. Having great wrath. They are very angry. Because he knows that he is but a the short time. The devil's kingdom has got a short time, so it is angry. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, what did he do? He persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Yes. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. Two wings of a great eagle. To the yes. woman, what was given yes. to her? Two wings of a great eagle. Yes. That she might fly into the wilderness. Yes. Into her place. Into where her place. She, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. So the safety of the church, because the woman is representing the church. Yes. The safety of the church mm -hmm. is in the wings, mm -hmm. but these wings do not belong to this woman. Yes. They belong to a great ego. Mm -hmm. So that she might find a place mm -hmm. of nourishment. nourishment. Yes. So are you looking at this pastor with keenness mm -hmm. to see that the Lord portrays himself as an eagle mm -hmm. because an eagle is one of the highest flying birds yes. on earth. Yes. And it has got a great and incredible eyesight. Mm -hmm. From that highest altitude, oh, yes. it is able to pick on its prey. Mm -hmm. So you are given understanding yes. of mystery mm -hmm. uh, um, and mystical issues of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because as you grow in the spirit, you continue to fly higher yes. and higher, yes. higher and yes. higher. Yes. So your flying is representing your understanding. Mm -hmm. And the more you understand, the safer you are right. from the cunning nature. Mm -hmm and the deceptive nature of the, the devil. Serpent, because yes. the wings were given for one purpose, mm. safety against yes, the, the serpent. serpent. Yes. So having access mm -hmm. to flying ability mm -hmm. is of great importance mm. to the church. Yes. It saves the church from danger mm -hmm. imposed on her by the devil. Ezekiel 17, 1 to 3. Mm -hmm. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, put forth a riddle and speak a parable unto the house of Israel. Yes. And say, Thus says the Lord God. A great eagle with great wings. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> read verse 3 to the Yes. End. Yes. A great eagle with great wings, long Start wings. Page verse 3. And say, Thus says the Lord God. A great eagle with great wings long-winged, full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon and took the highest branch of the seed. Read again. And say, thus said the Lord God, Yes. A great eagle with great wings, yes. long-winged, full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon and took the highest branch of the seed. Let's continue a little bit. He crooked off the top of his young twigs yes. and carried it into a land of traffic. Yes. He set it in a city of merchants. He took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful field. He placed it by great waters and set it as a willow tree. And it grew and became spreading vine of low stature, whose branches tended toward him, and the roots thereof were under him. So it became a vine, and brought forth branches, and shot forth sprigs. 
There was also another great eagle. Let's, let's end there. Yes. Once you see vine mm -hmm. and an eagle, yes. a, an eagle and, and spreading forth and developing branches and mm -hmm. roots mm -hmm. and becoming a vine mm -hmm. and bringing forth branches mm -hmm. and shooting forth the sprigs. Yes. It's clear mm -hmm. he's talking about Christ, Christ. right? Yes, yes. yes. Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter number Deuteronomy chapter number verse number chapter number 32 verse number 11 Let's start from verse number 9 For the Lord's portion is his people The Lord's portion is his people Jacob is the lot of his inheritance God inherited Jacob he found him in a desert land. Jacob was found in a desert land. And in the west, howling wilderness. Jacob was found in Egypt. He led him about. God led Jacob about. He instructed him. God instructed Jacob. He kept him as the apple of his eye. God protected Jacob closely. As an eagle stays up a nest. Yes. Flutters over her young. Yes. Spreads abroad her wings. Yes. Takes them, bears them on her wings. Yes. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. Let's end there. <laughs> Why uh, the ego? Yes. It's about spirituality. Mm -hmm. The fame of the ego mm -hmm. has nothing to do with anything else, but it's a flying and hunting abilities. Oh, it flies high. Mm -hmm. It flies higher than yes. more than 95% mm -hmm. of all other birds. Yes. One of the highest flying birds. Mm -hmm. And so God took Jacob mm -hmm. by his wings mm -hmm. and he glided up mm -hmm. and Jacob saw no harm. Mm -hmm. But continue to check where the ego component of God's capabilities is brought in mm -hmm. only when God wants to talk about safety. Oh, yes. Yes. Nothing could harm yes. Jacob because he was carried on the wings mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. So when we grow spiritually mm -hmm. and we find knowledge of the spiritual, we become safe. <laughs> we become oh, safe. My. Yeah. If I had the time, I would, I would have gone to the book of Job mm -hmm. so that you could have listened to Job mm -hmm. comparing a, a lot of things with an ego yes. to prove one point, mm -hmm. uh, the safety of the ego. But let's just read verse 27 mm -hmm. of Job 39. All right. Yes. Yeah, 39, verse 27. 27 Doth the eagle and 28. Mount, does the eagle mount up at thy command and make a nest on high? Yes. She dwells and abides on the rock, upon the crag of the rock. Why? And the strong place. The strong place. Yes. So each time he talks about the eagle, yes. he wants to bring strength. So strong believers yes. are believers who are very spiritual, highly spiritual. And be becoming highly spiritual requires you to, to, to have contact with the spiritual, mm -hmm. the realm that is spiritual. So I will, I will show you a few things which we we'll explore in the second message. Mm -hmm. I just list them now. Yes. Please remind me when we meet next time. Mm -hmm. So, for you to believe that coming to church, listening to the word, praising God and testifying is enough, mm -hmm. you should be very, very shallow-minded. Because when we say we are believers, we are saying we are now citizens of heaven. Mm -hmm. We are now on our journey to go to heaven. So our preparation to go to heaven must give us certain abilities and certain, certain secrets about this heaven mm -hmm. which we are going into mm -hmm. so that 
we are ready to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. God cannot tell us that he's going to take us to heaven one day and then he says, you can't experience anything that is of a heavenly mm -hmm. nature until the day you are ready to go to heaven. That would be very, very bizarre because God has never been with that kind of an attitude. He always gave his people an example of what he wants to give to them. Mm -hmm. Talk about a testament. Mm -hmm. He gave an example of a testament. Mm -hmm. Talk about a priesthood. He gave an example of a priesthood. Mm -hmm. Talk about blood. Mm -hmm. He gave an example of blood. Mm -hmm. Why do you think God would not give us an exemplary experience mm -hmm. for heaven? Why would you think like that? Okay, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Mm -hmm. It says, Blessed be God, yes. the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who has yes. blessed yes. us with all spiritual yes. blessings. And then he says, in, in heavenly yes. places in Christ. <laughs> so this scripture means they are what are called heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Do you think... Do you think that Microsoft Teams is one of those heavenly places? Mm -hmm. Do you think Zoom meeting mm -hmm. is one of those heavenly places? Mm -hmm. Do you think that First Street, Pagomba? <laughs> <laughs> now, the problem with Ephesians 1.3 mm -hmm. is that it's not a promise. God did mm. not say, one day you. I will bless you mm. with all spiritual yeah. blessings yeah. in heaven, in places, in mm. Christ. Mm -hmm. Paul says, he has yeah. already given yes. us these yes. blessings. Yes. yes, Which means if we can't access these blessings, mm -hmm. it's us to blame. Yes. And of course, the knowledge principle applies when it comes to faith. What you know you will get, what you don't know you will not get. Mm -hmm. So when you want to see whether God wants you to get something, mm -hmm. he starts by letting you know about it. Mm -hmm. You don't get anything that you do not know. Yes. Trust me? Yes. It's a principle of providence. Mm -hmm. What you know what is you what you give. get. Ephesians. Yes. From verse 3. Chapter 2, verse 6. Let's verse start from verse number 4. But God who is rich in mercy. God is rich in mercy. For his great love wherewith he loved us. God has got great love towards us. Even when we were dead in we sins. We were dead in sins for some time. Has quickened us together with Christ. God has resurrected us together with Christ. By grace you are saved. This is what it means. And has raised us up together. So after God quickened us, he raised us up together. Where are we now? And made us sit together in heaven places in Christ Jesus. Pastor, did God promise no. <laughs> that one day if you fast for a long time <laughs> and you give a lot of offerings, yes. And you pray the whole night. Mm -mm. One day, pay adventure, God <laughs> willing. We will sit together no. in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Uh, By the way, what are the heavenly places? places. Have you ever asked yourself this question? <laughs> heavenly places are spiritual dimensions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God has made us to acquire. Yeah. To have access mm -hmm. to spiritual dimensions. Yes. There are many heavenly mm -hmm. places. It depends on how much you are willing to grow, mm -hmm. how much you are willing to explore, how much are you willing to acknowledge they exist. If you say there is no spiritual places, it's a lie. You will die a died for the rest of your life. <laughs> All you will know is Glenview, where you were born mm -hmm. and where you are going to die. But believe me, God is not short-sighted. God is not bigoted. There is so much. There are so many heavenly places which are there. We are made to sit, which means we have no capacity to sit ourselves. 
God needs to make us to sit in heavenly places. What will he do to give us that? It is through the fuel. Mm -hmm. Spirituality is a dimension like a, an aeroplane. It can't fly mm -hmm. without fuel. Yes. You need fuel. And just listening to sermons is not the fuel. You need a certain type of fuel and a certain type of engine and a certain type of temperatures that are generated so that you can access those altitudes. Mm -hmm. Just having fuel, it's not enough. You need to have indications, directions from the preacher to tell you there are these access points. You can grow. You can grow. You can grow. You can grow. These are just hints. Mm -hmm. Now, the other hint is in Acts chapter 22. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 22. So th these are access points, the spiritual uh, uh, dimensions. We want to learn about the spiritual dimensions. Mm -hmm. How can you access mm -hmm. spiritual dimensions? There, mm -hmm. there was a time when I said, I find it very uh, worrisome that somebody is born again. Mm -hmm. they, are, they, 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 they repent, they come to church, they are baptized, they receive Holy Spirit, and they believe that they are going to heaven. But they do not desire to find contact mm -hmm. with the one who built the heaven. They are satisfied by the assurances from the man of God. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Jesus loves you. You say amen, which is fine, it's, it's good. You are going to heaven, it's fine, it's good. But the problem is the one who is telling you that you are going to heaven has never been to heaven himself. Mm -hmm. If God today does not want to whisper anything to you, and you believe you go to his heaven, huh? Yeah. But my boss and I'm scanning a gamut is quapasta. Oh, funds gonzi. Mutupum common or gondo of overta and disease. Oh, vans the same name common or gondo of overta and disease. Kumbawak and the group and disease. Kumkomuak and disease. Kumjakwake, Ukambo Shiker and Dina. Pethi derag and disease. But Anne Numbu Mscane, Yem Comana, Such Kisa. Kuti, what got to it is called Numbu. Ne gori to to rosi na kana chau no zewa zwa chonaro. Kumba kwa ke chego kwa no gara akaramba kuku tu kuziwe, but wanga uru wili ingi kutu itire muno akadaro num. Inda wini kushaiwa aninga kwa kadaro. You want to carry God's pregnancy of His word, but you don't mind knowing absolutely nothing as far as intimate connection with God is concerned. That is scary. Mm -hmm. If God gave you Holy Spirit, it means God wants to have a contact with you, an actual contact, where one day you say, I heard God speaking to me. Mm -hmm. I heard the Lord Jesus. I heard the Holy Spirit speaking to me. I am convicted that the Holy Spirit said this to me. Mm -hmm. This is now a confirmation of the word. It's one of the many signs mm. that God will use to confirm the word as we read in Mark 16, 19, and 20. Mm -hmm. But the scripture I want us to read is verse, verse 17, 18, Acts 22. And it came to pass... What happened? Pete Paul was explaining what happened to him. That when I was come again to Jerusalem... Paul came some time again in Jerusalem. Even while I prayed in the temple... Paul was praying in the temple. I was in a trance. You were in a trance. And saw him saying unto me... Read again. And saw him saying unto Read me... Read again. And saw him saying unto me... Paul saw Jesus. Yes. And Paul heard Jesus at the same time. Mm -hmm. Paul saw our Lord. Lord mm -hmm. Paul heard our Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. Make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. What did you say? And I said, 
Lord, they know that I imprisoned and beat in every so synagogue. So after the Lord spoke to Paul, mm-hmm. Paul replied. Yes. And Paul said, Lord, they know that I imprisoned and beat in every synagogue. Yes. Them that believed on you. Yes. Yes. And when the blood of thy martyr Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his and death. And Paul told Jesus mm-hmm. that is part of the co-conspirators yes. who killed Stephen mm-hmm. the deacon. Yes. yes. And kept the raiment of them that slew him. Let's find out if Jesus responded. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hands unto the Gentiles. Is it possible <laughs> that in this day and age, mm-hmm. Our Lord can speak to a man, Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. Paul did not see a vision. Mm -hmm. He saw Jesus. I saw him saying unto Mm -hmm. me, and he recorded what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. And after the Lord spoke to Paul, Mm -hmm. for you to see that it was not a dream, Mm -hmm. Paul replied. replied. And then the Lord also replied back to Paul. All right, Acts chapter number 16, mm-hmm. verse number 3. Him Let, let's, Paul, let's, let's, let's read verse number 6 for the sake of time. Now when they had gone throughout Phrygia and the region of Galatia and were forbidden of the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. In those days, mm-hmm. believers could hear instructions mm. from Holy Spirit. Mm. They wanted to preach mm-hmm. in Galatia. Yes. Holy Spirit said, don't. Mm-hmm. Acts chapter 13, verse 1 to 4. Mm-hmm. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manian, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and so. Yes. As they ministered to the Lord and as, fasted. As they prayed and fasted and ministered to the Lord. The Holy Spirit said. The Holy Spirit spoke. Separate me, Barnabas, and so. Yes. For the work where unto I have called them. Yes. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Did you hear that? Yes. The Holy Spirit spoke, Mm -hmm. and they heard the Holy Spirit. Pastor, is this not a a great thing? thing. It's It's not a small thing, Pastor. Mm -hmm. How can how can we just pray? We pray and we go. People say, let's do an all night prayer. Mm -hmm. They talk the whole night, Mm -hmm. and when they are done, they say, Mm -hmm. we are done. Let's go. Mm -hmm. God says nothing. Nothing. Holy Spirit says nothing. nothing. Jesus says nothing. As they ministered to the Lord Mm -hmm. and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Mm -hmm. and the words that were spoken by the Holy Spirit were heard by by the the church. church. But what is actually much much more fascinating, church, is to note that, is to note that in the same book of Acts, Luke is writing, he is telling us in Acts chapter 13, Mm -hmm. it is the Holy Spirit who spoke to the church. Mm -hmm. In Acts chapter 16, he spoke to Paul's team. Mm -hmm. You want to preach in Galatia? Don't. Mm -hmm. You want to preach in Messia? Don't. Mm -hmm. You want to preach in Phrygia? Don't. Mm -hmm. But when you come to Acts chapter 22, verse 17 and 18, Mm -hmm. Paul did not hear from Holy Spirit. He said, the Lord stood Mm. by me Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. said, fear not, Paul. Mm -hmm. If you go to Acts 23, verse 11, Mm -hmm. he also says, and the The night night following, Mm -hmm. the Lord stood by him and said, be of good Good cheer, cheer, Paul, Mm -hmm. for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so So must thou bear witness also at Rome. The journeys of our apostle Mm -hmm. were triggered by direct, real-time instructions, not from God, 
not from Holy Spirit, mm. but from Jesus, Jesus himself Christ. in person. Hey. The Lord did not speak to Paul. Mm -hmm. The Lord stood mm -hmm. by Paul. Paul. Your verse in Papa. Mm. Yes, we are not Zaka Garaguru, one more wheel. I call on a Steve in Nagamira wheel. Aka Uya, Camira Panapo. Yes, so I can't get out of Dega. Aka Zoka, a Camira Napo, like a town of S. Kona Po Arimuro, ma, a two mana Jesu, Kufunga Wenyanga, Chimamba, Gripa, Aka Claudius Caesar, Ianga Camira and a Jesu, Aka Sika Claudio. My question is, what stopped these access points from functioning? Are we truly the church or we are masquerading as the church? <laughs> right now, when people say, I heard God saying, they don't even know whether it was God the Father speaking or it was Jesus speaking or it was the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the Lord said, if you ask him, which Lord are you saying? Did Jesus talk to you? So we have to learn. This was just an item. I listed these things. Mm -hmm. We are not going to learn about them. Mm -hmm. I was listing them so that you may prepare mm -hmm. for the Samuel scripture. Mm -hmm. It's an exciting passage. You could meet with the Paul and he could tell you, on Monday, mm -hmm. the Lord mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus spoke to me, me. but Tuesday it was the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> What are the differences? The differences are many, but mm -hmm. for starters, the Lord has to come mm -hmm. for him to speak to you. Yes. But the Holy Spirit will speak. He doesn't need to come because he came permanently. Mm -hmm. He will be around for the rest of the duration of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. But of course, the Lord can come without standing by you. Mm -hmm. You can hear his voice without seeing him. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that he just spoke from heaven. He must come. But obviously, that ministration is rare for natural believers. It's usually there for the apostolic assignment. But Holy Spirit, every believer can hear Holy Spirit at any given time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay Apostle Chuenga a cent. Mm -hmm. You simply need to be activated to learning how to hear from God. Are you spiritual? Because if you have not access to these spiritual contacts that I'm giving you knowledge of, then what then makes you spiritual? You are like an aircraft with a full tank of fuel, mm -hmm. but which has no engine that is functioning. Mm -hmm. You are not going to fly. We are loading you with the same one, but you are not entering into the firmament into the spirit realm. Like an eagle, mm -hmm. like the church in, in Revelation 12, 14, mm -hmm. which was given two mm -hmm. wings of a great eagle mm -hmm. so that you can fly mm -hmm. and find safety for your spirit. In those days, my dear, the church used to hear Holy Spirit loud and clear. Kutomira church kufambazo. Munosi muka pakati pe church. Oti faro kwa muri. Kana uti rugareva nwa mngari. Mge ya ataura zwa kati zwa kati zwa kati. Shiri mo. Pa exit 21 verse 9. Shaka itika umfungo shaka pa verse 12. Church ya itombo mira. Lanvo zwa zwa taur wa ne mge ya. Kukereke. Shanga shisiri basare wa fundi zi chete. Kana wa apostola chete. Wa porofita wa isi muka. Wa chitaura zwa taur wa ne mge ya. Pana wa mngari pano guna kutaura. Yes. So Samuel is what we are going to learn about because the Samuel chapter 3 verse 1 to 10 scripture mm -hmm. we intended to read. Yes. It is a very, very yes. Uh, yes. Yes. A gem like scripture. <laughs> it will teach you how to learn. How to learn to be spiritual. Mm -hmm. You are like a little Samuel. You need to be trained. This is why we taught about these things. We were creating a parameter. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget what verse 1 said. In those days, the word of the Lord was, was precious. precious. The starting point for your spirituality mm -hmm. is your attitude to yes. the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Is it still precious to you? 
prayer does not give you access to spiritual realms or to, to, to the spiritual world. Prayer, it is important. It, it, creates, it creates a focus for your spirit, but it is not fuel. Your fuel is the word. Yes. When you look at what we have spoken about throughout this session, we were talking about the spiritual dimension. Did you see that, Pastor? Yes. And we said the word spirit has four meanings. Yes. Four possible Notations. meanings. Yes. So what we said is the word of God is the fuel into the dimension. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said in verse 24 of John 4, mm -hmm. God is a spirit mm -hmm. and those that worship him, they worship him in spirit, spirit and, and in truth. truth. Yes. Which means in order for you to be a true worshiper, mm -hmm. you need to worship the dimension mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. There is a dimension yes. that is true. Is There's spirit. a dimension that proves true worship, mm -hmm. a spiritual, spiritual. dimension. Mm -hmm. Let us look finally at uh, John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickens. It is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh is useless. The words that I speak unto you. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit they and are they spirit are life. And they are life. <laughs> what did you uh, see yeah. in John 6, 63, Pastor? <laughs> the, 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 the word spirit again in the dimension uh, connotation. The dimension which becomes spiritual, mm -hmm. it depends on the word. word. The dimension is actually embedded yes. in the word. word. Mm -hmm. That's why he said the flesh yes. dimension profits, profits nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. The spirit dimension, dimension is that which gives life. Mm -hmm. And then he says, for those who are looking for this unphysical, mm -hmm. immaterial dimension, mm -hmm. find I the mean. word. Not any word now. Mm -hmm. The words that, that I speak. speak. Only Jesus' words mm -hmm. will give you access to this it's realm. Been. So it was not difficult for Paul to find access mm -hmm. to the spirit dimension. Oh, yes. Because all Good the words word. that he functioned by with the spoken. author's <laughs> words. Yes. My words, they will give you access, not any other words. Mm -hmm. So we are privileged. We yes. have the words of the Lord that mm -hmm. speak unto us. Mm -hmm. Why can't we access this realm? We should access it. Mm -hmm. The spirit realm is real. Mm -hmm. I can assure you. There are times when I could say something at that particular time that is happening in a different place without knowing it. Holy Spirit just say, say it. That's what is happening there. <laughs> and it will be happening exactly as I said. Mm -hmm. I could spend the whole night telling you the things that Holy Spirit has caused me to do. Mm -hmm. we, not things that address the unphysical dimension. No. Mm -hmm. Because the spirit dimension yes. is its its eyes glaring and focused on the physical world. The, 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 the world is around spherical from a geographical perspective. Mm -hmm. But from a spirit perspective, it's a straight line. Mm -hmm. So from 2000, the year 2000 mm -hmm. to the year 3000, mm -hmm. there is no cave in the spirit realm. It's a straight line. Yeah. From today to 2,000 days ago, it's a straight mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. The events that are happening 2,000 miles from where I am mm -hmm. and where I am, it's a straight line. So when you are in the spirit realm, mm -hmm. you can have access to all those things. Yeah. It's just a matter of <laughs> being allowed. Mm -hmm. Are you granted access? Mm -hmm. and, and when you are granted access, you can look into things and see them and you'll be surprised. How can I tell people things that are not here and they would believe me? And when they go to check it out, mm -hmm. they see exactly as it is. Mm -hmm. And people are surprised. Mm -hmm. 
How did you know? Oh, I, 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 I can, I can. These are some things that are unexplainable mm -hmm. because one, once you see from that level, the method now is un inexplainable. You can't explain, Pastor. As Tauri Kyoguti, Papa Maka Tauri to my elections at 2018, Maka Ona, Maka Ma Ona, Maka Ona, Maka Ona, Maka Ona, Maka Ona, Maka Ona, Maka Ona, Brethren, we are sitting on a gold mine. Mm -hmm. We have enough fuel, my dear, to have access to this realm. Yeah. We simply need to desire. God has already blessed us with all the spiritual blessings in, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. In heavenly places. The word we have is enough fuel to take you 100,000 feet above sea level. Mm -hmm. You can come down and say, well, I've been blessed. I'm just, I don't know what I can, because when you, when you are still little, you can see some things that you can't explain. Mm -hmm. You just come down and say, well, I saw something, it's marvelous. May we thank God for what I've seen. I can't explain it. I'm still too tender to explain what I saw. But it certifies your soul for salvation. Mm -hmm. Once you have access to that, even when you make a mistake, you won't doubt your salvation. Mm -hmm. it, it somehow gives you confidence mm -hmm. that if God can bless me yes. with such an encounter, mm -hmm. it means he must have read my name yeah. in the book of life. Yeah. He can't give this kind of treasure to mm -hmm. a dog. Mm -hmm. I'm not a dog. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the elect. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I can assure you. Mm -hmm. So your homework is to go and read the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. Try to pick up some notes and tell what happened there. Because we have a little one, Samuel. Mm -hmm. He needs to hear from mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. He must be nurtured mm -hmm. by an adult in the spirit called Eli. Mm -hmm. and, and the passage is exciting. This was just an introduction. Uh, I, I don't want to continue sharing these things, but I'm super excited because God does not want textbook believers. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to quote correct scriptures and share correct testimonies from sermons, but we have no experience within you towards the reality of the spirit life. Spiritual life is not theoretical in the kingdom. It's practical. You can live it. You can experience things. You can hear the Lord speaking to you. You can hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you. You can see visions. You can have a supernatural experience mm. that doesn't necessarily require you to explain what you saw. It's just an experience. Mm. I experienced something in my, in my spirit that rejuvenated my spirit. I don't know how I'm feeling, but I can tell you I'm super joyful. The Lord gave me some experience that lifted my spirit. And when it comes to making decisions, once God grants you contact, the right method to continue to get these accesses, it's when you need instructions in the way of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Throughout the scriptures, we shall read and those we have read already. There's no time when Jesus stood by Paul and just wild time with Paul together. Apana paka bonzi jesa ka uya waka tandara na paurosi. You will never get such a luxury to, to, to waste and kill time with these spiritual access points. It's always to push a gospel kingdom agenda. You have testified of me in Jerusalem. Be of good cheer. You must go to Rome to testify about me. This is why Jesus, our Lord, stood by Paul. Mm -hmm. He never stood by Paul to discuss the business project of Paul, mm -hmm. which had nothing to do with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus will never speak to you about you. Mm -hmm. Jesus will only speak to you about himself. It's a selfish kingdom. 
It's a kingdom. That's what kingdoms are all about. Oh, yes. It's all about the king yes. from morning to another morning. Mm -hmm. When the Holy Spirit spoke in Acts 16, mm -hmm. he forbade them from preaching in Galatia. Mm -hmm. When the Holy Spirit spoke to Philip in Acts chapter 8 from verse 25, yes, yes, Holy Spirit yes. told Philip to go and preach mm -hmm. to the Ethiopian eunuch. Yes. When the Holy Spirit spoke in Acts 13, mm -hmm. he said, separate for me, Paul and Barnabas, mm -hmm. that they may go to the work for which I called them. It has always been about the gospel agenda. The gospel agenda. What about our own issues? Your own issues are subject to the issues of the king. If you subject yourself under the king, the king is a caring king. He is a loving king. He knows how to deal with your issues. He doesn't want you to come to him for your issues. Mm -hmm. You won't find the very best mood in the king when you always bring your issues to him. If you want the king's attention, bring king's business. So if you are going to seek for these uh, access points, make sure it's not for your own consumption. They want a spiritual access. They can go, poor, can I can be China, can I can transit so? Over the time, I'm going to die and draw it. Because Patrick Utapa or Gupua access to the heavenly places, remember you are gaining altitude. You are moving away from the earth. Yeah. So the, the, the more you mature, mm. the further away from the earth you become. Come. And when you are up there, your focus can never be the earth. Mm -hmm. You have to be looking at those issues at that altitude. Mm. So you become like an ostrich. You have wings, but you are too big to fly. Mm. You will die with these wings. <laughs> Until oh, this yeah. day, the fame of the ostrich is mm. on running on the ground. Mm. It's a very fast paced a bed. But you are a bed. Daddy, you you are not fly. meant to run yeah, on the ground. Yeah. Why can't you fly? Mm -hmm. I am too big. Mm -hmm. You are too heavy. That's mm -hmm. the right language. <laughs> not too big. You are too heavy for these wings. Oh, yes. Your body is weighing on your wings. Mm -hmm. Your wings are too fragile. Mm -hmm. I can't get this one. Look at his belly. It's too mm -hmm. big for nothing. Mm -hmm. May we not be ostriches. May we be eagles, hey. because the scripture says in Revelation 12, 14, mm -hmm. they were given the two wings of the great eagle, mm -hmm. not a great ostrich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hashtag great ostrich. <laughs> you are growing in the word, yes. but you are growing on the ground. Mm -hmm. Why are you not growing wings mm -hmm. to fly? Bye. There's no one speed. spiritual activities zero. Mm -hmm. one. May God help you <laughs> to shed some weight yes, on your belly yes. and grow weight on your wings mm. so that the stronger your wings become, the higher you are going to fly. Mm -hmm. We are seated in heavenly places, <laughs> extraterrestrial places, mm. celestial environments. We have access to this. It's not a promise. It was given the day you were born again. We don't need to pray to God to sit you in heavenly places. Mm -mm. He has already done it for you. Yes. You just need to learn how to fly. Mm. When eaglet, you need to be taught how to fly. Mm. And that's why we are here. This is the message. It's going to be titled uh, Part A. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a Part B. It's a mini series. I'm sure the whole church might benefit from this one. Yes, yes, yes. Faro Kwamuri.
Ne işi? Ay. Adida. Are you still here with me, Europe? We are taking God for a wonderful teaching. Uh, we are always excited when we learn the mysteries of God. As in masters, we are not going to be confidential. Shango Visea was a gada. Thank you so much for, for teaching us uh, and, and stimulating us to seek the spiritual, to grow into another level of, of experiencing what it is to become a child of God. Thank you so much. Let's hear three more believers. Thank you very much for the feedback. I hope when we meet next time, everyone we have today will attend that message. <laughs> Greetings, Amai, uh, Apostle uh, and uh, Pastor Irengui. Uh, it is really a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to listen to, uh, uh, to this uh, teaching. Um, uh, an awakening, uh, I would call it, because when I got baptized um, and I uh, was uh, 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 given the Holy Spirit, and um, I thought that was the end of it, but uh, uh, I have just uh, uh, got to know here that uh, we must uh, um, forsake this teaching at our own peril. Um, we are sitting in heavenly places where uh, we are being taught and we are blessed with the uh, knowledge that our preachers have. And this is the fuel uh, that you've just talked about. And it reminds me about um, uh, uh, the other sermon about Jephthah the Gileadite when um, he got, uh, uh, when the, uh, uh, the spirit of the Lord was upon him. We saw the activation that happened there everything started moving and uh, this is really what we require right now and uh, uh, this is what we have be been given and what we are getting every time that we get uh, such kind of sermons i was really um, wondering where we are going uh, with the teaching but uh, it came up that uh, this is the fuel we require just like you mentioned the fuel that is required by the uh, uh, jets when they go uh, or maybe go up into uh, into uh, uh, higher places when they fly the thrust that they build this is the work of the Holy Spirit, and the work of the Spirit is the one that fuels us, that gets us to these uh, heavenly places that we so require, and to build that intimacy with our Lord. And that intim intimacy must be built if we are to prepare ourselves to then embark on that journey that will take us to uh, uh, to our Lord when that when we experience that spiritual realm. Maybe we sp experienced it when we were born, and we are going to experience it again when we leave uh, uh, this flesh. Uh, I need to thank you very much for uh, for this uh, uh, teaching and thank the Lord that is always granting the understanding uh, that He gives unto you, so that we then uh, uh, it's imparted unto us as well. So yes, I need to. I, I must thank you, uh, Pastor uh, Irengui, for being there with uh, uh, Apostle uh, and the support. It all comes from the Holy Spirit. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Amai. Uh, thank you, uh, Pastor Erenki. Doctor Namwari, good to pane na we are talking ecclesiastic. You uh, God will demand the spirit that uh, when you die, people will, will say, "Why God? Uh, why Marwari would say, 'Watura munafa? Asi e ah uh, mwari ndwane ane simba rwaza tase ku turas muya omu kuti kuti muya omu nubude sato sarapanyika ta kuti kana bana ecclesiastic eh ecclesiastic 12 verse 7 ichi taroti mwari anga kuti kana solomon akati anto zio kuti zine ta se azi e muya omu neta se mwari anita ku demand kuti nda kutora Wait a Munaga Simba. Can I could a Hana Alburuara? I know I don't go to Ragadar. This will tell Savania Matodi. Eh, can I Munagasi Ajuara? To what could say good Rufu? 
anga kiri wara foot. But then roads aiwa kusir kuri ufu go. Unani ngaku to far out ah. Acha to moji uke zeku zeku no kuku kuasi aku no kunyika. Asani ngaku to aku to ah. Kana kuyoka anything in a in a twinkle of an eye. Eh, aku to zoe uka anything you could teach chicha itika ku world ya dasia. But then zo kani ngaku inda banyango ah. We are going to hero, can I go heaven? Can I go to paradise? Can I be a hero? I'm going to say, I'm going to fly. 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 I'm going to as you will come here, Muya. Eh, as my shrine on Gajiti, especially now, my shrine master. And Gajaiwa, no, we can bet the spirit which was wrong. One of us is not going to see a garage with it. To tend our main needs, it's a garage. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last speaker, I would like you to address the, the yes, the, the, the confession I made of my own experiences, I want you to tell us whether you felt scared. Pastor, I made you tell us what you're going to do. I made you tell us what you're going to do. I made you tell us what you're going to do. I made you tell us what you're going to do. I made you tell us what you're going to do. I made you tell us what you're going to do. I made you tell us what you're going to do. Yes. Let us hear the last speaker. Okay. Uh, thank you, Amai. Yeah, it's scary. Uh, it's scary. Now, you could go to Munyama. My family, I don't know if you have to put uh, something. I see. It's not a large dutch kiss out the confession of my daughter. Ma, ma familia nita kunzwe kana wuda mnyama. Kuti taifuka tu nuru wuda ujirwa ziwa. E munu to munu to no pain. Then after that kana wuda ujirwa. You can continue ujirwa asa. Ati zo wunde kuti e ujirwa wake kuno pwa pera. Kana zoezi zo za pera ini ini kuti zoezi zo asisi to sara kuno kumaj. Teji ti chiro ujirwa zot. Amedi ya afaye asisi wangu ya afa ame yangu ya afaye dita si. Moran is really as it says it to Murid, new Murid, we have one of the other ground Murid, Okapakuna, which are in the at Tazonzi, Kuni, even even places. I was good to grow Denga, or good to Raguna Mari. Touch what from Mojat to grow good Denga, and is all good to Mojat to Raguna Mari, even. To the non Gorajima Bar, Paru, Paru, Raguna to Invita, a son goes at the middle of Dio Marin de Muturi, a and was out tragic. Thank you, thank you. Let us hear from another believer before we go past. Uh, I, I want also those that are going to testify to tell us what this teaching has done to you in terms of your desire to experience the spiritual. Thank you, Amai. Thank you, Pastor Irengui. And I just want to thank God for this uh, sermon. And I just wanted to comment on the admonition that you gave us first, Amai. I think it's also linking <clears throat> with this sermon, uh, especially uh, when you say that the church is not really manifested. And, you know, as we were coming from Mount Sinai, everything you know, that we were was wrong and we are being watched from Ziklax under advice 12 uh, until all the sermons, even the kingdom of David that we had last week, uh, the last past few weeks, we are being watched and I'm excited um, because you say that, that the teachings are opening higher dim dimensions for us. And uh, those who are going to do this are going to go to higher dimensions but those who are going to refuse to do this are going to fall away. And he gave us that example of cattle that refused to go to the, I don't know what it's called, the deep, deep. <laughs> uh, 
uh, if they are refusing to go, they're just going to fall away and be sickly. So we thank God for all these um, sermons that we are having that are washing us and helping us to go to greater dimensions. And I'm sure we are as heavy, like you were saying, like an ostrich, because of all these things that we've been carrying that has been not right in our lives, but because of this word that is washing us. Um, and I'm so excited for the next sermon that is going to come and which is going to show us how we go to these greater dimensions. Thank you. Thank you, brethren. Rudo, let's hear the last one. Greetings, Vanamai. I'm my widow, Apostle Tev Chiwenga, and I'm my widow, Pastor Yeringwe. I thank, I thank you for this chance to be able to speak on this platform. Uh, I'm address that what do you think about the experience you have put out of the body and experience the other side? I, I believe that Makaita experience yo yo am I the way it has been revealed to you, uh, the way you reveal the word to us as it has been revealed to you. Only shows us kuti reshua muna experience ya kadaro, and I really thank God for you. I really thank God for us. Isus tesetrum siklag for giving us this chance. Yoku titi sanga ne ne mi matapiwa this gift. Yoku ti it is out of this world. Do not tender shukuru. Do not tender. Do not tender muari. Ne experience ya matapiwa kumbu. Muna out of the body and kwamaka kwamaka experience whatever you experienced. Pamaka sangana namari. I I I I really thank God for you. To not end. All right, thank you, brethren. We love all your testimonies. We be we hope they will they will plant a seed. We hope this way to stay your spirit up to discover more, to want more, to desire more, to expect more from the power that is hidden in the word. Pastor, could yes. you briefly tell us what is your feedback on today's message? It's just an introduction. Am <laughs> I... <might>, uh, <laughs> If I say I'm excited, maybe it's just an understatement, but uh, super excited of this message uh, coming from the background of saying recently I, I was listening to spiritual repercussions that we learned earlier. So um, uh, where, where we explained about being spiritual and what it meant to be spiritual, and it was like a repeat of the same message that as long as you are outside the word, you are not spiritual. And then he, he, I was really excited when you were now explaining uh, the issue of us uh, um, having the desire to say, when you are saying we are going to heaven, why is it that in us there is not that desire to have that heavenly experience now. Now, yes. before we go there. Before we go there. Yes. And that's when then you said about your experience. Uh, maybe the advantage of me is that I'm having you in the studio. When I looked at you, it was like you felt that sweet sensation of leaving this body. You said it. It, it, it seemed it's it's so sweet. The, the way you explained that you forget everything about this world. And But you feel like you want to have that experience also. Kuti ti gone kunzwisa kuti 
this world is nothing. So even the material things that you have, you feel like you belong to this, but the afterlife, the way you were explaining it, and you came out clearly that you never went to heaven, but you were in that uh, spiritual realm and the image. It was a heavenly it place. It was a heavenly place, <laughs> which we were learning of in Ephesians chapter. That there are many heavenly there are places. Many heavenly places. And it was quite an experience that one would desire, especially from, from the way that you are explaining it. But I liked it most when we read Acts 22, Am I? Yes. It was something that I never thought that the Lord was there in person yes, with the Apostle to, Paul. He came to speak to Paul. And when he said, I saw him, I said, did I ever read this scripture? <laughs> it was Previously, it yes. appeared like he heard him. He heard him, yes. But the Lord was but seen he, by Paul. He said, I saw him before. And that right was not the him. only time. No, that was not the only he time. He kept but... on coming to Paul. <laughs> but when, you, when we read of it today, I said, ah, Lord, this is what happened. And you were there with the Apostle Paul. And it was quite an experience. <laughs> and to to note that he he was hearing from the Holy Spirit in the it same is, time. Yes. But he was able it to distinguish Jewish. that was Holy Spirit. Yes. This one is the, the Lord. Lord is, they are different. They are different. When the Lord talks, yes. he comes with a different approach. Mm -hmm. And when the Holy Spirit, Spirit. talks, mm -hmm. it's a different approach. Yes. But nowadays, people just say the Lord has said something. <laughs> which Lord? They don't even know which Lord <laughs> yes, they are talking yes. about. Yeah, so well, well, well. it was quite an, a message. We thank God for you, church. Uh, I hope you are definitely going to make a date with us on the next encounter. We really wish everyone would come. Bring those who did not attend. Mm -hmm. I wish this message was preached to the whole church. Oh, yes. yes. But uh, Europe, is, I don't know what <laughs> the Lord does with Europe. <laughs> I deserve you. I